Good morning, everyone. Um, I am streaming in place of Kathy today. Hopefully everybody will find me. She uh, is waiting to get into a doctor's office, so uh, she was going to be late or maybe couldn't even come on. So I decided to pop on in her place. Just to let you guys know. And no one's here yet, but I thought, well, let's pop on stream. It'll take a little bit to find me, but we'll figure out Kathy's on. I'll hopefully get a notification that I'm on. So you're live now? Yeah. So I was like, well, we'll just go with it. So maybe she'll get, you know, home and maybe she'll get in and quick. You know, maybe she got called in after she talked to us. Hi, Barbara. Nice to on the stream in Kathy's place. She may be able to join us later. Hey, Barbara. So um, I had um, a few things to show today. We'll work on the citrusol. We'll do your citrusol stuff Friday. Oh, good. And I'll have it. I should get it hopefully today in the mail. And then we'll stream Friday, do the citrusol technique. And we'll just plan it that way. We yeah, can the pack. The package said now it said it was um, still in transit, even though last night it said it would be delivered. Yeah, that's the, the whole. I can't believe it took longer to ship to Kentucky than Michigan. Kathy got it in like record time. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. You got the best seat. That's right. You got the best seat. Hi, Kristen. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, I'm going to stream in um, Kathy's place. Well, we stream together, so it really doesn't matter whose channel it is, but it's more or less that I was hoping you guys would find me. So, so I came on at her time instead of my normal time. <laughs> I think I think now that you're an admin, can't you, you can go live on her channel, can't you? Oh, I guess I could. <laughs> Be funny if she sees that she went live when she's sitting <laughs> in the doctor's office. <laughs> she went. Live. That would have been a really good joke to do. I think well, you I, can. I, I can. I pick whose channel when I go in. Oh, that's funny. She'd be like, "I just went live, and I'm sitting here." In the doctor's office. <laughs> I didn't think of that. That would have been fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, Barb. Uh, who came in? Oh, hi, Kim. Hey, Dar. Hey, Dar. April Fool's, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> and then when I type in her channel, I could just say whatever I wanted. <laughs> yeah. So, Kathy. <laughs> oh, that would be too fun. Oh my goodness. So we got some warm weather. I'm happy, happy, happy about that. It's cloudy this morning. It's but, very cloudy uh, here. Yeah. Cloudy yeah. and over overcast and dreary. It is. Yesterday it was sunny and today we got the big case of drearies. But at least it's not cold and it's not snowing and there's no ice. Thank God, thank God, thank God. <laughs> Hopefully Eileen will find us. She has not said hi yet, so she may be still sleeping or she ran to the store or something. Now, she didn't post her Sunday proverb. Oh, that, I saw that. Probably because I feel like a few people are doing it and I've been really slacking on that one. I, you know what? I love reading it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mariah. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, um, I don't know if she just didn't want to bother because I think Peggy's the only one has been keeping up with it. Um, the best, I would say. Some are like doing them hither, hither, yonder, hither, yonder. 14 degrees above zero. Woohoo! You know what's hard is that it's it's the prompt is so you really have to think about that. You know, they're those, hard. Oh, yeah. they are really hard. 
They're very deep. <laughs> yeah. Deep thoughts, you know, which I think yeah. is why um, I'm struggling with them. <laughs> so, yeah. It's like, it's like you have to make up your own everything there it doesn't it gives you just a little glimpse and then you've got to take it and run with it exactly and that makes it challenging i set this out so i don't forget now you know what Dee Dee's doing with her book you enabled her the 250 prompt thing she's she's on each page she's writing extra things that that word makes her think about Oh, okay. So that's neat. And I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, I switch, guess I just switch cameras. Um, it's, it's a neat book. I mean, you just get lots of ideas. Yeah. I, I started setting up for the working on the thing. So but we'll do that Friday. And now, do I, you, do you have, do you have more than one cookie tray and, and is it a big cookie tray? It's not a, it's a broiler pan. Broiler pan? Yeah, it's a big broiler pan, I'll show you. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> okay yeah that's that's good yep, yep. I mean, if you had it's got like you had a, edges. one side's deeper than the other so i'll just have to make sure the liquids run this direction like this yeah. side is shallow and this side is deep that makes sense oh yep. and it's it is nice and flat that's good it's big it's got handles too so yeah i think it came in my oven and never used it so i made it into an art thing <laughs> That's what I was going to use. And I did pick up um, a bottle of uh, a bottle of the eyeglass cleaner. Oh, good. You said to use because yep. you're worried the other one wasn't right. So I got yep. that. And I think I have everything else that you had on your list. Okay, good. Uh, and so you're just waiting? Wrap, bubble wrap. I have a big roll of bubble wrap that came around some frames. I'll just, I'll lay that across this. This is really a dry wrap. I'll lay it across there and then lay the papers there. Good. So I was thinking about that. I was like, well, I just happened to get a whole bunch of bubble wrap. So that worked out good. Hey, Johnny. Liked your book. That was really nice. I lurked through the end of that. That was a really nice journal. Kim's asking, what's all this stuff for? <laughs> We're going to get messy on Friday. Ah, uh, paint pouring today. Well, we were supposed to be at, at, at Kathy's channel, and we were supposed to be doing citrusol technique that Helen is teaching us. And she's done some really neat art with it. So since Kathy's still um, at the doctor's, I came on at her place, and then so Friday, we're going to do the citrusol technique. So you're going to need some citrusol, some, um, like, some National Geographics, if you have it, or some other magazines. Yep. Um, you're going to need, like, a, a, a little spray bottle to put it in. Um, you're going to need, so if you want to play along. This is all if you want to play along. Or you can just watch. She... Yeah, she said a pan because like you want to like catch all the mess in the pan. Come maybe cover your table. You know, if you're working on like a dining room table or something precious, you definitely would want to protect it um, from the inks. And yeah, so we're gonna just I don't know what else we're gonna do. Oh, stent. What'd you say? Um, ooh, opposite way. A stencil. Um, some a um some little sponge scrubbers that you get, you know, uh, the sponge scrubber that you can get at Dollar Tree and just cut it up into like one inch squares oh, and a wait. magic eraser, cut that up um, into one inch squares. And what else was there? 
Agreed. Um, I mean, some very various magazines. It will be fun. Um, Citrusol. Um, you can't find Citrusol reasonable. See, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Joanne's has it, and she said, "Now I checked my Joanne's. My Joanne's did not have it. So apparently, Helen's got a really nice Joanne's. <laughs> has all kinds of stuff that mine doesn't have." And I got mine on Amazon. Uh, so if you want to play along and if it's reasonable and if you want to spend the money, you can always order it and maybe on Amazon, maybe get it by Friday. If not, and, just play along and, and have fun. Watch and it. unlike, unlike the, you know, some videos that show and the one that Paula did, um, we're not, you're not dumping the, the product onto the magazine. You know, you're going to be, late putting down a very fine mist so you're not you're not using a lot of it hey dot um do you have any samples nearby they're small they can just show them let's see she has them um, i think in binder she's done a whole lot yeah it will be very messy kim that's it a, she's like put something let's down see lay some bubble wrap down or yeah it's going to be messy and then she said have water bowl nearby to clean your fingers or baby wipes yeah don't water. don't bother get don't bother getting a manicure the day before <laughs> don't paint your nails <laughs> kathy <laughs> you know yeah, wear some gloves if you have pretty nails just saying yeah um, the problem is Hold on, we can't hear you. You muted. You muted, Helen. I mean, maybe, can I unmute her? She must have bumped it. Hi, Christine. How are you? Whenever my earbuds, I have really small ears, and even the smallest earbud, they don't stay in. But um, we're saying. I oh. wish I had that problem. <laughs> I has got really little ears. I have really large ears. <laughs> they fall out all the time. And whenever you do, whenever you, I don't know how the earbud knows that it's not in your ear, but StreamYard mutes you whenever your earbud falls out. Oh, that's weird. It is weird. How they knew that? Huh. I. I, I have, I have, you know, I, I was going, I'm going to, you can't really see make it. Let me make it bigger. I'm going to, um, my lighting on Friday, I'm going to hook up, use my phone as another. If you put it closer to the camera, I think we'll be able to see it. I think it's too far away from the camera. Let's see. And then glare. Kind of, oh, I put it, and I've got it in a sleeve. Yeah, take it out of the sleeve and then put it closer. Now, look at this. Isn't that pretty? So, um, on Friday, I'll I'll hook up. I have a arm over my desk, and I'll try to do that. You know, aiming towards my desk. Yeah, so you can, like them. Show, so yeah. you can see it. That that one I just showed you is one of like, <clears throat> excuse me, hundreds that I have. That's how that much are, it. hundreds people. Then you know, also yeah, you have hundreds. hundreds. You're going to be good at it. Hundreds that are that are National Geographic. Oh, that's pretty. And um, <laughs> then I have. On Friday, I'll show you examples of what else you can use besides National Geographic, which is some of the stuff that I sent in the package to you and Kathy. Okay. She's a whole binder full. I have two two binders <laughs> and a two binders and a box. And then I've got the stuff to show on Friday. The stuff to show on Friday, I've got all categorized so you guys will be able to see what else you can use besides National Geographic. 
she doesn't have a channel. She has a channel too, so she is a, can go and watch YouTube videos and say one, but she doesn't do any live her own no, yet. Yeah. Yet. She yeah. Yeah. She's gonna she's getting braver, so she may eventually start streaming, but she's not streaming. I'm gonna say yet. Hi, Vanessa. Yeah, that's a good tip. Johnny said that she found them um, uh the citrus salt at sometimes at auto stores, which makes sense if it's a grease cleaner. That's yes. really smart. Or maybe it's a it's degreaser. Maybe it could be even if you have a Walmart or something, it could be maybe in the um you know, I don't know if they'd be in the auto aisle or cleaner. It's aisle. also it's also in um, like health food stores. We have a local co food co-op called Everman's and it's carried there. So you could look at health food stores. That's cool. So, so those are options. Is that $25 is a lot for a little, that's a lot for this. Yeah, 25 I, is. I don't Amazon, Amazon did have a good sale going on here in the, I don't know if it was other countries but it was a good sale here in the u.s that was that even beat joanne's price with a coupon so watch that too oh there you any, go any anytime i get a 50 or 60 percent off coupon citrusolve is one of the things on my my list to go in and look at joanne's you know for that and i have I go, I'll go, I'll take a coupon into Joanne's and buy like a Posca pen even because they carry the whole, whole thing of Posca. Yeah, I just saw that they carry Poscas, Poscas, the Sharpie paint pens and Poscas and, but they, um, I didn't see any golden products like yours carries, but they say, um, they do carry it on their website because I got an email saying that they carry down their website because I know, um, so that's kind of helps compete with Michaels because they sell Goldens, and then Hobby Lobby doesn't sell Goldens. Yeah, also, yeah, that's where I get my matte medium, Golden matte medium, is at Joanne's with a coupon. Right. It's really tricky where one store sells something and other store sells something, and then it's just like you're here, you're here, you're here, trying to find all your stuff. It, it can be a pita. So if we can tell you ahead of time, you you know don't have to waste your time trying to hunt it down. So um, they yep. did carry, they may have carried Goldens at some point, but then they just now carry Liquitex, Hobby Lobby, and their brand. So I thought we would start off uh, doing the flash card, and then I'll show some stuff, and we'll start with that. Get kind of the juices, art juices flowing, and um, See if Kathy makes it in. So, was there anything else they needed for the citrus salt for Friday? Um, that was like you know something they need that to was it. And you want you want the citrus salve concentrate, not not the citrus salve that comes in a spray bottle. You want the you want you want this. Oh, not that's the, important. Not the diluted yeah. one. Like you the one they have, I got a diluted one at the Dollar Tree one time, and it doesn't work as good. It, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. And and if you have National Geographics, you want right around, um, you want like 98 to 2007. Those are the year, years that I have tried, that I've worked with. Oh, Johnny says, oh, Colleen, I think I know why my software was not working. Not test yet, but I think I know. Oh, I she just figured it out. I find a computer. I hardly. She oh, thinks it couldn't see sense. without Wi-Fi. Eileen wants you to do some index cards today. Oh, well, I'm going to stop my camera and let you get started. I'm Colleen. Do index cards. I had saw something I really like to do today, this morning, and I got to just find the right image for it. Um, I'd like to do a paper doll. Okay, so I'm going to. I like to do a paper doll. I saw. 
and it, it, it just uh, was shoot, Shoki, Shoki Art. I can't pronounce it because Kathy's not here to help me out. So I'm going to lower my camera. I just put my desk camera on. We'll get started on the flashcard, wait for more people to come in and so on and so forth. So I'll get too busy and then forget to show and then forget to work on it. Hold on. i get a lot of software. Okay. Wow, I had the whole screen. Okay, not used to this. Oh, my camera's crooked. Hold on. I'm like, why am I having to go all the way to the left? There we go. So, I got some, uh, I did get some happy mail from Teresa. And she sent me some snow in. Tim, oh, oh those are cute. Aren't they? Oh, those are sweet. The detail, seriously, this is really thick. Like she put a thick piece of chipboard on that. Um, I love, oh, look at like that's a circle. I mean, that's a lot of layering she did with the little dots. And it looks like she like used some pen on the nose to give it some shadowing. And these things are beautiful. I love these snowmen. So I'm going to add this to my... Uh, snowman journal that I made and didn't work it, but I did make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. So I will add this to my snowman journal. I greatly appreciate this because I did not buy these dies. And she sent them in this really cute pocket she made. And she sewed, she sewed all the edges and then gave wow. it this scallop top. So I'm going to save this for a journal. It's And look, and there's a pocket. Oh, yeah. That'll That's, make a nice little addition. Yeah. So look at that. How cute is that? <laughs> it's a little snowman sitting in there. So, so yeah, there's a little pocket. So she made me art to use for a snow journal and another journal. And then a nice letter mm -hmm. with updates about her family, which it, I love uh, reading. And then I got my new art journaling magazine. Love this month. There's a lot of good stuff in this month's uh, art journaling pages. Um, she she has a whole slew of faces that she's done. Uh, this girl, but there there's a lot of inspiration in this one. There's colorful ones. There's grungy ones. I looked through this one probably probably two or three times. So I looked through this one. Some Eileen, I like the grungy stuff that's in here. Um, I liked a little, I liked a little bit of everything. Oh, the little tea bag was cute. So if you, uh, I, did follow, I got a subscription to it, so it gets delivered now. But anywho, if you, Altina oh, Walker's in here, the one that um, Kathy's always talking about. She's in here. Tina Walker's in here. And um, yeah, there's the girl with their picture on the cover. I love this one with the bubble. So it has a lot of great techniques, different people, different styles. I really enjoyed this, this, this one. This particular issue has some really good stuff. And of course, I love the cover like Eileen because it's green. And we like green. <laughs> We like Eileen needs, Eileen needs to come on. And yes, I'm all alone. <laughs> Hi, Ray. How are you? Well, not alone. You know what I mean. Be yeah. more people. Um, who else came in? I miss anybody else that came in. Okay, I think that's it. Happy Ray. Okay, so let's start. I have these marked because I did not do last week's. So I left the mark so I would go back to uh, read these. So, ready? All right. The first prompt is sketch. Let me get a pen. I know I have some pens around here. Just or a pencil. Anything. There we go. Eileen, Eileen says, do you need someone to tell you what to do? <laughs> yes, <laughs> she does, Eileen. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> okay, sketch. So the first prompt is sketch. It says sketch a person, a plant, a house, a doorway, and a pet. So there you go. So it gives you an idea of different things you can sketch. Now, let's see. I'm going to do all three versus, since I'm in control, <laughs> I guess Gatsby's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in control if you're lurking. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do all three so we can figure it out so I don't say the one at a time. Ready? Ooh. Hot glue. <laughs> I glue. Oh my God. Here's Eileen. Ready? Ooh. Hot glue. All right. Hot glue. Use hot glue to create texture on your page and use it as a stamp of sorts. Use hot glue to draw a person or a pattern with paint all over it with watercolor. I've never done that. Draw repeating shapes with your hot glue gun and use watercolor to paint around it. Using the no glue, glue lace down with it. Here's Eileen. <laughs> Sketch is a good one. Uh, Kathy's at a doc. She's at a doctor's office, and there the doctor was running late. She didn't know when she would get home. Colleen, do you have wax paper? You can do some hot glue on the wax paper and make it in lines, and then pull it off. Oh, and then glue them down that way. Interesting. That's neat. You make, if you make long lines with the hot glue on wax paper, once it dries, pull it off, and then you can shape it and then put it on the, the card. You can shape it? Yeah, if you do long strings of it. Like really, really thin? Or, okay. Yeah, not thick, thick, thick. Oh, okay. I'll try that. That sounds like fun. Okay, so we can do shapes with our hot glue gun. You can, the, she talks about using it as a resist by putting it down and then putting watercolor around it. I haven't done that either. Or draw a pattern with it. It's interesting. Okay. Step three. Go to the back this time. Oh, there you go. Letter L. Letter L. Use letter, we had a Q last time. Use letter L prompt, prominently in your spread. Paint, draw, or collage something that starts with the letter L. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Okay, I'll start with, I'll start with the hot glue. Eileen, have you used your machine yet? Yes. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. All right. My hot glue gun is hot glued. <laughs> <laughs> it's got glue all over it. It's hot glued. Just saying. Okay, let me find a plug. He gets it by, he's behind my computer. Oh, it's way back here. Okay. Oop. All right, turn this on. Let this heat up. Dar says, remember, there's letters in the antiquarium book. Oh, that's true. That is true. Get some wax paper, Colleen. Oh, darn it. Try that. I forgot that part of it. Hmm. 
Morning, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. You could use wax glue as a seal. I watched. Uh, I watched. Uh, what's her name do that? You can use that as a, as a if you have a flat one. Oh, what's your name is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly, our, our uh, prompts are sketch, yeah. hot glue, and, and letter L. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Okay. <laughs> He's making fun of me. It's, they're just silly. They're silly prompts. Did you read over there? I did. Why? Oh, because you love the trail. Oh, I left the banana. How did I leave a banana trail? Because the little stringy things on the banana. Oh. On the floor. Oh, I left the trail. Mike, why am I in trouble for eating a banana? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like so. I took a banana inventory last night. And what was missing? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, yes, and. <laughs> Do you own the tomato? If he owns the uh, rice to eating the bananas first. <laughs> what the heck, man? Just saying. Anyway, he can heat up. Time for what I'm going to sketch. On my card. You can draw a picture of a white piece of paper. Ah, good one. There you go. So Kathy is uh, held up, and I have Helen and Eileen on audio. If you want to say hi, oh. hello, Helen and Eileen. <laughs> hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Oh, the multiplication cards weren't those fun. There you go. I can see you. Yes. So, what are we sketching? Um. Me, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna try. I could try a house and do something simple. Do a flower. Chicken, Spring, right? Spring. Do a flower. That's easy. That's true. Yes. Yeah, start with that. Mm, start with that. Okay. You can do a warm up sketch, just like we do exercise. Hi, Sherry. Are you surprised I like bananas? But what you won't be surprised about is I I don't eat bananas that are like green and fresh because they are bitter. Blech. I like them when they're like almost bad. So Tom eats the bananas when I first get them because he likes them when they're green and the peel is still green and it's gross. And then I like them when they start getting more rotten, I guess. <laughs> and then I and then I eat them when later he eats them early into it and I eat them later. It works out perfect. Do you like frozen bananas with uh, chocolate on them? No, I never had that. Oh, they're delicious. Frozen bananas with chocolate. So. Yeah, I take the skin off and freeze the bananas and then put melted chocolate on them. Wow. No, I've never heard of that. So other than like bananas, uh, was it banana? Um, oh, I guess I do bananas, chocolate. I, is that the Sunday thing? Like a Sunday? Like it does. Yeah, we used to get them on a stick, and then eat them like a popsicle. Really? Oh wow! Has anyone else ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. Yeah, they're great for smoothies or banana bread or stuff like that. Yeah, I picked them. She's not here. Oh, <laughs> Sherry said they still sell them in the stores. No way. Really? Not here. If they don't sell them here, I've never heard of them. Like, especially being on a stick and soul, definitely not here. Interesting. Good morning, Terry. Your dad loved them. Oh, Carol Hibbs said she liked them as a kid. 
I've never heard of them, and they definitely don't sell them in stores around here. Interesting. Terry, I loved your page. Terry did, uh, she said, a poster page or Facebook group. She did Dina Wakeley's page that we worked out her book and with the white bottom, the colored top, and the silhouette. She did it. She said it took her three times before she was happy with it. And I was so happy to hear that she didn't give up and she stuck with it. And she she actually just stuck with it and did it till she was happy with it. And then her third try was is really good. It looked really good. And I was so it made me so happy that she didn't give up and she played along. Well, I'm getting wax paper on it as a bonus. Angela nope. says you can get the frozen chocolate bananas at Dairy Queen. Oh. oh. Morning. Morning, Angela. Uh, Dairy Queen would make sense. We do have a dairy. We have one Dairy Queen by, by us. There, there's the recipe for them. Tom, you ever had chocolate bananas? Not since you've been with me, but maybe you had it for as a kid. If he hears me, he doesn't hear me. Anyway, I've never heard. I, but he used to work at Dairy Queen when he was young. <laughs> for as before I met him. Is that coming off, Kali? Not well. I'm getting well. I'm getting wax paper with it, but maybe it's too. I don't know. Maybe I left it on too long. But I don't know. I don't mind a wax paper because it kind of makes it more interesting to be truthful. And it might show up a little bit better. Can you shape it? Make it into a circle or something? I'm going to try. <laughs> ah, it's only wax. It's only like, it's only glue, right? Don't use it. Don't use it. Yeah, I'm getting like I'm getting wax paper with it. See? <laughs> it's kind of That's fun. a mess. <laughs> this is it. That was your idea. So. Slice them up when frozen toothpicks in a bowl of chocolate for treats with kids. Oh, oh, well, that's a neat idea. Thanks, Angela. Let me know about Dairy Queen. Next time you go to the supermarket, look in the frozen uh, ice cream section. I look there and I also just look, I think the fruit's in the same aisle. Maybe it's with the frozen fruit. Which I oh, Darlene is saying try the glue on the silicone mat. They that may work better. Yeah, because it's definitely pulling. It's definitely pulling up the wax paper. Silicone mat. Me when I it. did, there was no such thing as a silicone mat. Uh, I got it. Okay, silicone mat. Okay. Maybe <clears throat> maybe you did it thicker. Used more glue and made a thicker line, and it. it Pulled up easier. That's true. Maybe she did do that. I was asking how thick I should make it, too. I wasn't sure. I'll make them a little thicker. I made those really, really thin because I was my teeth a little thicker. Silicone mat was smart. Everybody heard of the frozen bananas except you, Colleen. That <laughs> <laughs> surprised me. I don't, yeah, I, I've literally never heard of it. Okay, let's try it. Maybe I shouldn't leave it on there super long either. May I left it laying there too long. Let it dry. Hi, Hi Lena. 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 Hi, Lena. 
crushed nuts too. So that way you feel like you're eating something healthy. <laughs> if you throw bananas in with the chocolate and nuts. That's tricky. All right, I'm going to keep letting it. It's still wet. Just pulling. It's just like goopy pulling off. That's so far it's not working. Oh, you're welcome, Terry. Hope the next one to try doesn't give me so many problems. It was a little, it was tricky. We'll do, yeah, it, it definitely was tricky. I had a hard time keeping the bottom white because I kept uh, getting sprays and getting, oh, there we go. Paints on. Who said to use this silicone mat? That's working. Who said to do that? That was, that's working. I think Peggy did. Peggy did. Thank you, Peggy. Peggy and Darlene. I never used this thing. I just guess that's why I didn't think of it either. I hardly ever use it. It's Ooh. coming off real nice. You know what they look like if I was doing is icicles. Vanessa said she made icicles with hot glue before. Oh, she did. They didn't even read yep. that. I'm just yeah. looking at this thinking these would make really cool icicles on the on the December page. Because I mean, seriously, that's no sketch a snowman. There you go. Oh, that's a good idea. Sketch a snowman with the icicles. And say bye bye winter. Won't miss you. I only like snow at Christmas, and after that, oh, it's staticky. Something. Art is a minor strain. Oh, that was weird. Okay, we do. Well, then more. you could then you could write on there, "Love Spring," and that'll be your L. <laughs> that'd be great. I love spring and do a snowman. Yeah, how about a melted snowman? Oh, that's even better. Melted snowman. Yes. Devin, Devin says a snowman holding a flower. Oh, that would be cute. So he's, he still could be melting even if he's holding a flower. Do some like thick and thin, and then have extras for later. So, you were asking if you could shape it too, right, Eileen? So what? Let's, just, let's do some circles. Can we, can we do a snowman? Like, he's a wonky snowman. There, that's actually not too bad. Can we do, can you do dots? For the snow? Let's do big dots. Ooh, what a fun technique. Now I'm excited. <laughs> I was like, I picked a doozy this time. Okay. I like it. I might need a larger card. Let's see. I'm sure that might be okay. I'll let this dry a second. Okay, so I'm going to sketch a snowman. What I actually might do is I might use this and then sketch it when this is on there. Oh, this is fun. I can't believe how cool that is. Why have I never done this before? So simple. Everyone has a glue gun. Crafter, whatever. <laughs> Makes me think of the movie Christmas Vacation, uh, the Christmas story. And she's like, those things have been known to kill people when he, <laughs> he says the icicle. Knocked his glasses off his face and not the BB gun. Oh, that's funny. Let's 
And you could shape it. I mean, you definitely could. You definitely could play around and shape this. Right, I'm on stupid ass thing. Can I help you? Yeah. Oh, uh, I was. I tried to print something, but I'm not on. I'm on the the work laptop, and the work laptop won't talk to our printer. So I. Have to print oh, it. probably like my my laptop down in the basement won't either, or basement. No, it's kitchen. just it's a security thing in the back here set up. Oh, okay. Not not our network. Lena said hi, Tom. <laughs> Here we went back downstairs. Hold on, I'm liking this. Now I even have snow. Uh, now, can you color these? Like, do it. Is there such thing? Is there I'm trying to think? Is there a white? Um, do I have white alcohol ink? Dry is that. I wonder if there's white alcohol ink. Let me see. Ooh, I do have white alcohol ink, but it's probably going to stain this. So I probably want to put a piece of wax paper down or something. Let's try. This is um, pinata alcohol ink. Let's try this. That link I put on is different places where you can buy the citrus salve in Canada. Oh, thanks. That'd be helpful for Devin. Okay, let's try this. Stinky. These stink worse than Tim's. Do they make white hot glue? I know you can get it in different colors, but I never saw white. <sighs> yeah, maybe that, you know, the wax, like the wax uh, pellets, you know what I mean? Like maybe glue sticks for that would be white. I have pink and blue. I did not have white. Yeah, I don't know. It would take me days to find my hot glue gun. <laughs> oh, that looks like a drunk snowman. <laughs> Let's sit there a second. Let's try the some of the snowballs here. Ooh. This is like something I've never done. Ooh, they're like, sorry, they're blobby. They're stuck together. I've never done alcohol ink on glue before. So there you go.
Oh my gosh, get out of there. There's little, the little stupid hot glue hairs. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I don't like about hot glue. It's easy to suckers that burn you normally. Are these little hairs that come off of it? Ugh, those are the ones that get you. So the nice thing was I didn't actually burn myself with my hot glue gun, but using it on the mat. Ugh, shoot. Come on, stay upright. See, it's sticking my finger. Stay. I know this is pain taking slow, but this is this is more of a a flashcard experiment <laughs> at the moment. So we're gonna see if hot glue can be alcohol inked. And maybe some of you have tried this already. I don't know. Let me know. Has anyone tried this? Alcohol ink hot glue. Not me. Not me. Cool. How long will it take to dry? That's the question. And will it be will it stay on it? It should stay on there, we think. Are you going to color the background? Oh, that's a good idea. Why these dry? That's a good idea. All right, let's get let me get a piece of paper put down. See. Try your new uh, Timmy spray, that Carl color. Carl color, new Timmy spray. Uh, isn't it peach, pink? Yeah. For background? Pink? Why not? Remember, love spring. <laughs> I like pink. Um... Maybe pink and blue. I don't know. That's weird. Pink is pink is starting. I hate to tell you, but do yellow. We all love yellow snow. She's, <laughs> she's the blue side. <laughs> we all love yellow snow. <laughs> Kathleen says you're an innovator, Colleen. She is. <laughs> Thanks, Kathleen. I make her do it first. <laughs> See if it works. Let's <laughs> see if you want to even remotely go near it. Let's have let's have Mikey try it. Ooh. <laughs> just like washed right off interesting it's too wet I guess what's nice do you, have, do you have some sandpaper you can rub it across to get the coating off of that yeah, just like you saw it, like right, it came right off. You know, we get a try some sandpaper on it very lightly.
Some of it's stuck. Well, hello to you too, CB. Hi, CB. <laughs> Same paper, it's blue. Blue. Right, well, now it has texture. There we go. We did that on purpose. That was part of the plan. Hi, Gail. Oh, I think I like that blue better. Hi, Gail. That help, Colleen? Yeah, it is sticking better. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Here's my white. That's kind of freaky. What's that look like? It looks pretty. And down here it turned um, a little more turquoisey. I like how now we did that. I like how the inks are I know how they're acting on top of it now. Well, that made a, such a big difference. Is that alcohol ink? Uh-uh. Just regular acrylic inks. Oh. But I think sanding it just, like, maybe it's giving them, you know, some tooth to stick to. That's kind of cool. I'm making it dark. Hopefully your snowman will white snowman to show up better on it. You try that a second. It's kind of fun. I don't think I've done acrylic ink yet on it. Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. It's actually kind of this is really old acrylic ink though. But it's actually kind of got some little powder chunks on it. Oh see. yeah. It looks it's like dead. snow. Yeah, it's almost like dry powder chunks. I know that maybe it's from the sanding or the oh, because my ink is old. It's probably pieces from the sanding. Uh, that's true. I really like how that looks. Well, that's what you can do this afternoon, sand them all. That's neat. Yeah, it just makes the... Uh, like you see, that's all I'm auto focus on. Um, it's it, yeah, the sanding's just making this cool texture. Um, hmm. I don't like it. I like it better when my car lay, car stays down. Hi, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. SCB. Good morning, Maggie. CB, she made a hot glue snowman that she painted. And her uh, icicles and um, snowballs with, with alcohol ink. On a silicone mat. And then the acrylic inks were rolling off the flashcards, so Eileen had me sanded. 
and now I'm putting the inks on top and it's just it's got all you can't feel the texture obviously but it's just got all sorts of texture now it's sanded I really like that get to lay down here so the colors I use this one is some path blessing blue I don't know I can't pronounce it path path blue <laughs> I'll hold it up later and my auto focus on cannot even remotely Pronounce that and in a white and then this one is a uh, cerulean blue hue Now Liquitex inks they were the first ones that I purchased Was the Liquitex inks um, So you had those you had those before the F and W's yes, and I mean like There it's ancient um, I bought these when Christy Tomlinson was using them. So, yeah, it was a long time ago. Sand it a little bit more. I kind of like that look going on. I'm going to sand a little, a few more spots. I kind of like, kind of dig it. That was really cool. It, it just, uh, I just never would have thought that that would have added so much um, interest to it and texture. Just, it's making the, the inks just kind of flow differently on top of it. that I think now the card is 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 porous you know what I mean um, just it just makes it look makes the inks take differently that looks like outer space it does right show up yeah so I decided I had to probably just add a little bit of dark on there so the other stuff shows up you ain't tell it's a flashcard at this point but <laughs> the downside is you can't tell it's a flashcard we all know it's a flashcard because it's on the back. <laughs> I didn't even know it was a flashcard. I mean, actually, it's pretty good. I mean, it only there's only ink on the on the back of it because I'm messy. Like it didn't soak through the card, so it's thick enough to it doesn't you know see through. Just not messy, and I have blue fingers now. So, what was the title we were going to do? Love Spring. Yes. Does that know me and fiddle in there? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna. I may have to scrunch him a little bit.
Let me get this dry before we go any further. And then it's just boring to watch it dry. Um, is anyone else? Oh, Gail, I heard her say hi to you. Is anyone else come in? I missed Kimberly. Maggie's here. Oh. Hey, Maggie. Yeah, Maggie, I liked your um, mixed media stuff you did the other day. I like seeing you doing that. Yeah, we're trying to get Maggie going in the right direction. <laughs> she's brave, right? She's going, she's diving in. She's got her, her, her Neo 2s and she's diving in. I love it. All right, see, so we'll just, we'll scrunch the snowman up. Just make them like a little, there we go, make them a little wider. Oh, he needs arms though. Hold on, let me, let me add arms. They can be, and then we'll, shoot, I turned it off. I wasn't thinking. Where's my other glue stick go? Hold on. Did I use it all? No. Did I really? Uh, let me go to the end. Well, maybe I did use it. Now it is. If you don't have one to shove the other one in, it doesn't work as well. Let me heat that up a second. Okay. Flower. Let's think about that. And an L. I'm thinking I want to have the L underneath the snowman and the icicles. I might want to, do I want to lay them? I might do I want to lay the icicles around him. Let me put the L underneath. So I will put an L underneath. Let me see if I can get a stamp or a pencil or something. Eileen, did you pull another prompt for this week? No, I completely forgot about it. When it said to turn the clocks ahead, I swear I turned a day ahead. I can't find the giant stencils I used for Kathy the other day. My giant L. I need to use this L. And then I'll just write the rest down. So he's over here. I could put it sideways. All right, it's hold on. He's caught. And over right here, put love spring over here and have him over here. Yeah, I think I'll put it sideways. I and can't I, wait to see Colleen glue that down. 
Oh yeah, wait a minute. My glue, my glue gun's hot. Let me give him some arms. I like the idea of adding. Um, do the arms when he's on there. Why? But then it won't be white. Like we want him. I need it. Why white? Wouldn't they be brown? Oh. Shit. Wasn't thinking. Hold on. I need one on the wrong one. Hold on. Ugh. Strings. Now I gotta go get brown alcohol. -y. You people, hard to please. All right. Hold on. Ugh. Oh, I hate strings. Do you see all this? Do you see all the strings? Ugh. Damn strings. That's why I don't like hot glue. <laughs> Oh, God. Look at that snowman. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got issues. <laughs> he's got he's got a few issues happening. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's connect it up here. Let's make him some eyes. We'll have to attach it to the top edge. Okay, let's just try a second. We could grab some brownie. She would have named the snowman Hannibal Lecter. I like when I, I like when Eileen states the obvious to me. <laughs> it's ours be brown. <laughs> oh God. Duh. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh shoot. See if I can pull off his face. Uh, come on. At least got eyes. All right. Let's make his arms brown. <laughs> Poor Colleen. I know. What y'all get me into? Have him hold a frozen chocolate banana. <laughs> That'll work. He's melting. I can't wait till Kathy sees this. <laughs> She's gonna, <laughs> I don't know, be like, so top this one. <laughs> Oh, this one. I dare you. Try it. I dare you. Let's see. The owl should be a color. Hold on. Let's get a different color. Since it's supposed to represent spring. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, I leaned favorite color pink. What's the temperature over there, Eileen? 
down here? Yeah. It's probably about 77 now. It's supposed to go up to about 81. But we're getting that storm. Yeah, it's 62 over here and we're getting rain. <clears throat> All right, so this is acrylic mousse, pastel paste, I'm using by Mar Maribu. So it's like a chalky, it's like a chalky paste. Have you gotten any of that stencil butter? No, I, Maddie was selling it. I haven't bought it. I can't decide if I like the fact it's shiny. Oh, I didn't realize it was real shiny. It looked to me like it was shiny. So I haven't bought any, but she was selling that. A lot of people, like, it got bought up. So it seems what like a lot it? of people are excited about it. Stencil butter. Stencil butter. Yeah, stencil butter. So did anyone here buy it that's in chat? I know Lisa bought some. I don't know if she's here. All right, I scoot this over so you can actually zoomed in. Okay. Couldn't you just add a color to some molding paste or something like that? Maybe yeah, have it you, do the you same could. thing. You could, but I already have it, so <laughs> I already have it. That makes it easier. All right, let's see if we can get him on here. Oh, let's try. Okay, I'm going to do Love Spring. I guess I'll use... Oh, do I want to use my Costco's? Let's see. Darlene oh says she has the butter and metallic shine. Very pretty colors. <clears throat> oh, okay. So it does have a metallic shine. That's what I thought. Okay. I wish it didn't. Was it metallic? Oh, no doubt, Maggie. You had some awful weather this year in Canada. Way worse than us. Oh. 70 degrees. Yeah, so we're, I think we're going to hit 70 tomorrow or the next day. I can't remember. I'm stoked. Hold on. I got to move this. I'm already laying my finger in it. Lisa says she has a Seth after class tonight using the stencil butter, and she'll let us know how she likes it. Oh, cool. That's right. She did have a class uh, Maddie did for that. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, let us know what you think about it. It's not going to show up. It's too light. It's really, really light. It's not what I was hoping for. The green showing up nicely. Let me try it. Maybe go back over the top of it. What colors did uh, What colors did you get with it? With it, uh, Lisa. Did you pick your colors or did the kit have the colors? That's the other question. I can't remember. There, I just need to go over it twice. There, now it's showing up.
Do you think Kathy would have put this much time into it? <laughs> she would have been like, are you done yet? <laughs> oh, shoot. Ooh, we got a little pink blob there. That worked out good. All right. I'm going to glue him down. It's okay if his arms stick out. I have several things that stick out past my card, so... Oh, that looks good. It does look good. <laughs> I give you so man. Hold on, why is I on this? Hold on. There. Oh, why I had open it. Now, how are you gonna glue it on? Glue gun? <laughs> <laughs> I can do. <laughs> if I have any icicles, I wonder if Matt Medium would hold it down. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I'm thinking Fabric Tack, your favorite. Yuck! <laughs> How am I gonna do my icicles or glue them down? I know it's not part of the prompt, so I still need to technically sketch something. Does Love Spring count as a sketch? <laughs> well, you did you did sketch something. You sketched the snowman. You used the glue gun as your utensil. So you that's true. There you go. I don't want the sketch. Let's try let's try gluing him down with his own glue. Oh god. <laughs> uh, it might work. Hold on, they're gonna let me get it's gonna work. I need a I need a flower, right? Flower for the glue the bottom down. Maggie says use art glitter glue. Oh, I have art glitter glue, I think. I'm going to try glue glue. I'm going to try to glue them down with hot glue. Let's see if we can get his middle bodies a little screwed up. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if we can straighten them out. Ew, I know what I'll use for a flower. I'll get Eileen's favorite. I got, I'll stick a Prima flower on it. Oh, geez. <laughs> Let's take a prima flower. Oh, no, he's coming apart. Hold on. Stay together. Hey, I do like the alcohol ink on the hot glue. So, if any anything, I really like the hot glue and the alcohol <laughs> ink. I mean, look how pretty that brown is. Of course, it went up on his body a little bit, but. I mean that actually is it's, it's pretty neat. This one it's a little kind of if you do it, you know a little lightly it's kind of half colored but I mean it's just kind of neat. I would never thought yeah. to do this. It looks cool. It's another way to use alcohol ink and use a basic basic uh, tool we all have. Hot glue. Who would have thought this would spark such a interesting idea? I like it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, Smoky Hush. Okay. Hush. People are walking because it's warm. All right, let's put some snowflakes. Oh, it's getting strong. Hold on, let me calm the shot. Where's my mouse? I can mute. Wait a minute. Quiet. <laughs> Shut the door. I want to call. Smokey. 
Bandit hut. He's working, so he's not too happy when they get too too barky. Can't hear. Hey. Darlene, Darlene posted a picture with the butters in Facebook group, and it is really nice. It did look really pretty. It it did look really Beautiful. pretty. Beautiful. I'm like, I, ow. I'm like, I later stay away from the. I stay away from the shiny stuff most of the time. Hey, even the little, even the little snowballs worked out good. I guess it needs there enough to do two eyes. I did blue, but it's not showing up. Oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on, that lady's by walking. Eileen, have you ever tried using the, the glue gun at, for the uh, wax seals? No, not at all. Thanks for filling in the quiet moments. I had to. He shut the door and then um, I opened the back door. Hopefully it'll just stay out there parking. Okay. Well, it's nice, and I have more problems with her with them barking in the nice weather because everyone's out walking their dogs. Okay, there. And of course, they can't stand it. So, how dare you walk by my house? Catch that there. All right, hot glue, man, this is a first. Let me get some flowers. Let me find my cream of flowers. They're right over here. I don't have as many as I used to because I just don't use them. Oh, these are, these are work. These are smaller, too. Son of a bitch. Move your mask. Not that I shut you all down. It just close. It just minimized my window. You'll have to write down that technique, Eileen, of the alcohol inks. I mean, Colleen, of the alcohol inks on glue stick, because that's, that's pretty. It is pretty, and I really like it with the. Obviously, it looks better with the dark. But I mean, it is neat. And if you already had your background done, you could just, well, I still think I would do it all separate because it, it, get, it got pretty messy. So you just attach it. It would be pretty. Vanessa said she used the glue gun to do wax seals. If you did wax seals and then added the alcohol ink on them, that would be real pretty. Oh, that's true. There's paint. 
pinks to the softer pink. Here's like a, let's see, cream. The cream will look good. So it's just too big. It's over here. Have green and blue flowers. Got little sparkles. Do we want sparkles? Yeah. Is there a right or wrong, I guess? This side fits in his hand well. I think this size flower will work good for fitting in his in uh, in his hand. I could do, I wonder if I should do like he's melting on the bottom. Like figure out if I could take maybe some of the icicles and like lay them uh, horizontally underneath them. Yeah, that might work. Like, like he's melting. Look at all those flowers. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got all kinds of glue squiggles. I will say those are kind of ugly, but a way to avoid glue squiggles. Eileen, what is it you don't like about them? I I, I like real flowers. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I... I I would color, you know, I would put some dark over them. Yeah, I just don't like yeah the that's an idea. Color. With like some alcohol inks or something on them? I would use distress inks or something to color them up. They all look so plain and blah. Plain and blah. Well, that's a good idea. Mm. Or so a nice little bead in the middle of them. Maybe instead of button, we'll do flowers. Not glue the bead in. Sew it in. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let's do some. Let's put this off. Let's do flowers for eyes. Just have fun with this. Redo. <laughs> oh, I off. will, Johnny. <laughs> Hi, Mink. Hi, Joan. Colleen, do you think they would fit in your new Rolodex? Uh, Tim's, you mean? Who? Tim's, like Tim's little card. No, thing. the one you bought yesterday. Oh, it, they might. I don't know. I bought the, the Rolodex that, um, that, uh, um, Zonda showed. Now, what was the story behind that? Did she found somebody that, ma that makes them or what was the, yeah, her husband, the girl that sells them, her husband makes them. Oh, those eyes look cute. Well, we put some um, distress <laughs> dark around them. Distress on them? Yeah, oh, no, so they're not so white. The flowers or the snowman? The okay. flowers. These, you want me to, if I glue them on. We'll pull Silly. them up. <laughs> then it pulls arms off. <laughs> no, like the white ones. These. The eyes. Oh. They're kind of glued. Uh, let me just tap it on there. Maybe I can just, maybe I can just dab it.
No, but it looks good, but this is it because otherwise I'm going to be pull off the. <laughs> If that isn't what you were talking about, Eileen. <laughs> well, I I meant the dry ink pad. Oh. I can't read your mind. It's just a dry ink pad. Sorry. Is that better? He has brown eyes. <laughs> What you said to do would look the same. Well, the better I than white. That's blue. <laughs> well, they're kind of cream, which didn't exactly match, but I like I think the size was fun. All right, let's see. Let's take let's take our hot glue. Take our hot glue icicles. Maybe I could bunch them up. Um, like that. So it looks like he's sitting on snow. What do you think? Clear though, it's not white, but you can see it. What do I need? And, and want you to make them yellow. <laughs> oh, the all oh, this down here. <laughs> then we got to add a dog and. Right through tell Kathy she's gonna have to make a uh, a glue a glue snowman. Oh my gosh, it's sticking my fingers. Okay, there now at least he's you can still see the L. Oh, hold on, can I get the glue strings off of me? Okay, and off of him. Where's that? There's my L. See, we can do the ink pad on the edges. We can do that. I like the way Timmy did distress the edges of tags on that glass mat. How'd you do it, Eileen? Instead of using a distress tool, he just, I think he used the wax on it, but I'm not sure, but... He just rubbed it on the edge of the glass mat, and it really looked nice. <laughs> Did anybody buy the uh, the wax the, that he's selling? Oh yeah, that's a good question. They went by. What was that? Um, still don't like the eyes. Um, was it foundry wax? That's it. Foundry wax. Don't like his eyes. I oh. bought some. I hope it doesn't smell like alcohol ink, though. Yeah, I guess you'll have to let us know when you get yours. Like how you like it. What's it, you know, what do you think? Was it worth it? My concern, I mean, I like that he was honest up front saying, hey, like, if you leave it out, let it dry out, put the cap back on it, don't have it next to, you know, maybe you should give them big eyes next to a heated surface or what is that? Wait. I love the way it was done on those uh, 3D embossed tags. Yeah, I like to explain like what you're getting into before you buy them. They're yeah, just... he's pretty good at doing that. Yeah, so I thought that was good because if you don't know what you're getting into, it might take you by surprise. So I kind of like that. Christine says she bought it, but it's not here yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
There you go. You have to let us know. See, yours is too big. You have to be the ugly cream ones. It just don't have anything smaller. It's going to have to be the ugly cream ones. Now I use the ink pad on it. Like, since Eileen didn't like the way I did it before. CB, it's different. It's liquid wax. And it, I guess he said it's not made out of, um, oh, what is the other stuff made with? Mm, um, I don't know. God, I can't think of it. The stuff that they make candles out of, what wax is that? Par <coughs> paraffin? No. B? Not paraffin. Beeswax. Beeswax. Yes, yeah. you have to heat it. Yeah, and then, but like if the bottle gets hot, it can harden in the jar. You got to put the cap back on it as it turns to powder. And I'm just kind of a. Yes, Maggie. I'm messy. I'm messy. And um, and I definitely am a culprit for not putting um, my mask, or putting lids and stuff back on. So I was like, yeah, I'll dry it out. Plus, I seem to have issues with stuff drying out anyway, like my paste and things like that thrown away to where I feel like it would probably dry out here. Well, be like the rest of us. Buy it and never open it. It'll be fine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> just, just collect it. I'll try this on these little vellum flowers. They're little green vellum flowers, but they don't show up very well. Let's try the alcohol and eat these. This is the only one, uh, it's sparkly one I got accidentally. Now this one I do like, which I'm, I kind of steer away from the sparkle, but I actually really like this blue. It sparkles. This alcohol. -y. I know she don't have. I think I bought it because I love the color, but I didn't realize it was sparkly. And where I put it on top the um, the charcoal, and then I made that cool kind of foamy effect on the charcoal. This one is celestial. A oh, pearl. This is pearl. Yeah. So. But that's actually working pretty good on the vellum. Now he doesn't have a nose or a mouth now. Let's see. I need a let me get an orange marker here. You need to do it. Oh, you did do it, Orange. Oh, yeah, I did. started it's a pita there we go there it's kind of ugly but I would say the techniques were good when says particularly they were but different. They were different. The techniques were different. But look how the 
the pearl looks on the vellum flowers. Actually, nice. so, so I really like that. I never really put alcohol ink on vellum before. Yeah, it looks really cool. These are like little green vellum. Does it dry on there? Yeah, it looks like it is. Probably gonna take a it's probably not gonna dry quick, but do you think I should outline the love spring so it shows up or not? I'll leave it. It'll be hard to do that with the flowers and stuff, won't it? Yeah, that's true. It will be. Well, we know it's there. There you go. So that was something different. Oh, I will say that you never bore when you're trying to do these prompts out of this book. It's not boring. <laughs> and then you have Eileen in the chat helping uh, Tanya what to do. I think it came out really cute, Colleen. It's not boring. So, I mean, it's kiddish looking for sure, but I mean, it is a hot glue snowman. It's kind of hard to make it look real realistic. <laughs> so. Thanks. Uh, I think it's fun. I'll, re mm. I'll remember what we did when I look at it. So that's for sure. I won't forget what I did. Now, my box. I love how my box is filling up every week. I love my box. So I'm going to go back and do my carnival one. I did not uh, because of working on my bee journal. But look how fun these are, though. Our, our snowman, a colorful one, our queen, our girl. I love her hair, tissue hair. That one. And then my squirrel with the a squirrel. Sunflowers. Our magazine. Um, transfer. Tim girl. That was another one that was kiddish, but it was fun to do, though. Um, the unicorn redo. <laughs> redo unicorn. I like that <laughs> one. Uh, let's see. Um, this one was green rings in August. And then we got, ch we got our chipmunk. All right, that was the squirrel. I got to go backwards. Hold on. Chipmunk. Squirrel. Like I called them the wrong one. So that was fun. And then the farm life, I did that one. This one was oh, I should, on the back. I should have wrote that on there. I know deer was one of the props on this one. And then the fishing one with the shaker card, the envelope flower one, and then the balloons. Yeah, so crazy They're all crazy fun there you go if you want if you haven't started playing along with this you can see what we've done so far and on the facebook page how we've been entering the props on there so you can go back and see what the props were and we're just going to do these twice a week for fun out of that book and then just have just some fun art to look at look back on Okay, let me clean up this real quick. Stencil butter is really creamy. It's all, uh, and it's really like a, it's like a, it's like a paste, but it's shiny, and I think it's a little more smoother. Similar to what just hints the name of. Uh, you know, the butter, it just seems really creamy. It's a creamy paste, but it has some sheen to it. All right, I'm going to save my glue, whatever. I don't know what we'll use it on, but I'm going to set it aside. We'll use it at some point. Got to come in handy. We'll be like, so... Off real quick. 
Thanks, everybody, for your help on the, the card. Everyone's suggestions and everything. I appreciate it. So I got this new Timmy index card thing. And I'll show you that real quick. I'll show you that. I get some of the junk off my mat. Some of it's not going to come off my mat. <laughs> Let me undo my glue gun and move it out of the room. Whoop. And more glue. Let me put that right here. Let me put this in the other room. Okay. So I picked up the I picked up the Timmy um, box and the cards that fit into it. I was cutting on one. My God, how many cards did you buy? Two sets. And That's only fit. two sets? Yeah. Two sets. They come in pretty many. And once you fill them out, it's probably all you're going to need for this. Um, I got the I got the nails. And I got the uh, snippets. And I also got the photographs. Which, these are really nice. I really like these. And then his tape. And then, of course, I had the folio, which we used to make the bee journal with. So, you, didn't get, you didn't get any of his uh, flashcards? No, I have a bunch. I have them from when he had them years ago. It's either his or Seven Gypsies or him and Seven Gypsies had them. I have a whole bunch already. Oh, okay. And they're just, and they're just small ones. Uh, the, the ones I had that were, uh, maybe it was Seven Gypsies, they were big ones like Johnny's. Like, they were they were big. I like um, them because they don't have any uh, coating on them. Um, that's true. They don't have any coating on them. That's a good point. So, what would you like? Uh, would you like me to play with the flashcards today? I could, are these not flashcards? I mean, these today? Yes. I think they would be kind of fun to work on. So, let's work on these. They, oh, and I also got two books. One book I was enabled by Patty because uh, it got uh, I never it got sold, and so I went over and found on thrift books. And I got the Avery Paperscapes. And I thought this was really cute. And what I didn't realize um, is that the these were already, uh, for some reason, I thought she cut those out. I didn't realize that they are like, already cut out. Oh, that first page is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Rip that page out. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> so I thought for some reason, I thought Patty cut them out. I didn't realize that they were already cut out. And this is how the, the pages look. They're, it's really neat. So I don't know if I want to uh, take them out or if I'm going to just, just paint on the bottom, which I where I think I'm more inclined to do is maybe do is to paint on the bottom and leave them. I think it's, it just, just was, I didn't expect it to look like this. I've never seen a book like this before. I thought this is so cool. It is a nice book. It is. It's very different. It very is. Different. It's all, I didn't realize it was like this. So when I got it, I was like, huh, here I thought that Maggie or Maggie or Patty cut all those out. They were already cut out. Duh. What does it do? Do you give a description of the bird? 
It does. So it's yeah. So the it gives a, the name, the size, and description of the bird, and all the information on the front and back. It's just the bird description. Yeah. Johnny needs one of those because she did a bird uh, journal. Oh, see, so there's a Canadian goose. Is there one that recognizes? There are two of those. I feed down the lake. And some of these are not birds I recognize for our area. Colleen, Colleen, how is it bound? How are they bound into the book? Is it, is it a? If there's, it's, it's uh, stitched in. You can stitched. See the, okay. The string is stitched in. So you could, you could easily just remove this. You can deconstruct it. Yeah, you could, decon you could totally just, easily deconstruct that would really pull off there really easy or you could probably take a knife to it and cut them out individually because like, if you tear it's going to tear here so i'd probably cut it out with a knife yeah it's just a really neat book i was not expecting this and i was like well this is a pleasant surprise and we have that bird i love the tuft of titmouse it's a free bird um so yeah, this is your flip there. So yeah, and uh, everyone's heard of them, but me, ever at Patty's, they all they all like these. I never heard of this or seen it. So I got mine at Brickbooks. I think they had them um, on Amazon too. And then the other book I got, which came kind of came up at uh, first Brickbooks and came up as well, is this, which I thought was fun. It's a pop-up and fold town. It is a neat book. So I'm not going to make 3D. Oh, here you go. It makes little like 3D houses. But I'm not going to make them 3D. I'm going to just use them flat in journals. Because I remember I have the house book I started. So I'm going to use these flat, I think. They, did they pop out or you have to cut them out? Uh, they pop out. They're all appropriated. So it's made to make a little 3D giving little kids or grandkids. They might like oh. doing this. I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them flat just so the just for fun. Let's see. It's used, right? So I'm missing some. But it was pretty cheap. I got this for five, six dollars. I think it was really cheap. It was worth taking a risk. Because I was like, I'm going to take the risk because it's pretty cheap. So I just, has anyone seen this before? I've never seen this. Nope. So they have all sorts of ones in the series, like this one. The paper scapes, there's different ones of these, and then this was kind of long, and then so this is also by paper scapes. Um, and so it's the same, it's the same company, it's just different stuff. I love the trees and the buildings. Yeah, so I thought this might be fun. There's a little like there's a little like here, there's a little look, there's a little lady with the stroller. Yeah, just, just teeny little details for fun. Now it is. I thought this was cool. Hi, Maddie. So we'll see what I do with it. Even if you just, here's like in the back, it shows you how to make the little town. Isn't it cute? If you wanted to do like, that's cute. If you have a little kid, they might really like making it into a 3D town. So there's all the these all the instructions in the back how to make it. It's cute. For the money, I took a chance. You know right now. Okay, so I was thinking with some of these, what I would do. Um, one, I was uh, got some scissors so I could. I have these for sewing. Obviously, I'm not going to use my sewing ones on paper. And I got these to use on paper. 
so I can make my own kind of look like, you know, stamps or whatever. So I thought we'd play with this today then since it took me forever to do the snowman card. So I won't start the other project I was going to start. Are they so, pink, pinking shears? Yes. I Yeah, they're basically pinking shears, yeah. But I got them for paper so I could, of course, you can see it and cut it completely straight so I could make it look like a stamp. That's a great and, idea. Uh, yeah, like, and these are, these are cheapies. Like, I have expensive ones for my sewing, and then these are, like, 10. And I could use these to make everything, make stuff look like stamps. Yeah, like, anything small, some of the stuff that comes in that you're, cre you're creative. Uh, this is what... Yeah, you know, this is why I was cutting down. What do you call it? the create the box, the creative kit, or whatever. So you could use some of those and put them up in the stamps. So let's see. I was thinking I would start off by maybe embossing one. I got a Oh, before I forget, I think Johnny's having a sale tomorrow. Oh, cool. Hi, Maddie. So, actually, I'm going to use the, the new texture die I got from her and try this out. I'm gonna put this Make in sure you spray. Oh, I always forget that. Every time. Eileen says she keeps the spray bottle by her die cut machine, which is a smart idea. And then she can, then she, when she has it to wet her paper, um, before she runs I'll be it there, through, Johnny. through the die. So let's see, let's run this through. Eileen, did she say what time? She just posted 4 p.m. Her and Brooke. Oh, great. Maybe Johnny will show us her April kit. Hum, 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 hum. <laughs> or I should say box. Oh, that turned out good. Look at that. That's nice. I think it's a smart idea. So then you have the debossed and the embossed side. Well, that looks cool. You probably, I wonder if it, I wonder if they would emboss these or not. Yeah, and, if you put, if you um, go through it a couple of times. That could be kind of fun. Okay, let me think about that. As long as you run it through a few times, Colleen, it, it'll work. It'll work through the, with the folder too. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna get piece of paper then, or even this. I need something. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some sprays. All right. What color, Eileen? You can get my cart with my sprays. What is that? To the name of that folder. Does it say? Um, 
be allowed to get, get my card of sprays. Um, it doesn't have a name, but I would consider, I guess, some people in Maddie thought it was a zebra. They saw a zebra pattern. Um, I thought it looked like cobblestone. I was going to say, it sure doesn't look like a zebra to me. Maybe the, maybe the backside, but I thought it looked like cobblestone. Yeah. That's what I thought it was, too. So I was like, if you think cobblestones, I would make it a, a gray color. That's what I was thinking. So let's see if I have some sort of, I don't know, just Tim, what's it, weathered, weathered, weathered wood? Weathered wood, puma stone is, that's not right. It's sort of a puma stone, that'll work. Kind of green now. Let's see. That was kind of cool though. Let me try this a minute and then we'll try. And then when it's dry, rub some of uh, Antonio's um, paste on it. Ooh, okay. Look at that running into the crevices. Yeah. Well, that's nice. That's a good color. It is a good color. I was—I don't know. For some reason, I expected to be more gray because by the color of the outside, it sprayed green. Did you shake it up, Colleen? I don't think you have to do. Do you have to shake the distress stains? No, and I don't I'm know. not unless it's the oxides. Yeah, so it's weird because you can see that this is gray, and it turned out green. That's it weird. is green. Yeah. It's so weird. Now, they did not do any sort of, um, you know, gesso or whatever, so it's going to into the card. So keep that in mind. Or, you know, whatever you're working on, you may want to, if you don't want the ink to sink in, you may want to gesso it. Are those cards like a uh, file folder weight? Yeah, I would, I would say they, they are more like a file folder. Maybe even sim similar to Dina's, to Diane's paper, maybe. Oh, okay. They're pretty thick, but I mean, it, that ended up being pretty absorbent, though. And I don't know, Dina's is not. Ooh, I get sprays on there. Oh, well, it's already distressed because I gotta move my stuff. <laughs> I sprayed that too. Leave it to me. It's still wet. Now, let's see if we use. I know he is. What's it? The other one's weathered, right? Yeah. At least you ain't find it real quick. Walnut. I know I have it because I, I know I have weathers. I have most of them. More like a giraffe cat. Oh, giraffe. Did I say zebra? Yeah. <laughs> it's a giraffe. That's, a giraffe would be more accurate. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you're never bored. You keep you on your toes. You're like, what'd she say now? <laughs> oh, my God. I swore I had the weathered one. I cannot believe that. Because, I mean, I really actually like the gray. And I'm not finding it. I hate to keep looking while you guys are standing here looking at a blank card. Um, okay, what other color do I use? I'll just use a different, another color since I can't, I know I have it, I can't find it. You know, I'm pretty organized and this is super frustrating. Um, who else has a gray besides Puma Stone? 
And that's the same side I just used. So this is the, let me try the oxide. This was the, I feel like I have braid. I feel like I have that color. Well, if not, I'm going to be buying that color because next time someone's selling it. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Yeah, Kathy had a doctor's appointment, so she was the doctor was running late, so I told her I would just come on in her place. She thought she would be home before uh, before she streamed. That kind of made it, you know, gave it more, you know, I mean, faded look. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, wait, I have a gray. Um, let's try this. This is gray, right? Yeah, let's try this one. I have the Marabou spray is gray, too. Oh, come on. Tell me you're clogged. Of course it is. Marabou is a permanent spray. Of course it's going to be clogged. Hold on. Let's see if we can get it unclogged. Like my blue fingernails. Well, I'm ready for Friday when we uh, when we do the other because I already got blue all blue fingernails. So I'm already <laughs> I'm ready. I can't do any worse. I have blue fingernails. Yeah. Blue yeah, fingernails. Don't don't bother to clean the blue off, Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm pre, pre, uh, pre grunged up already. <laughs> Just saying. If you are here earlier, we're um, Friday. We're going to uh, Helen's going to be uh, leading the, I guess, leading teaching us, and we're going to be playing. But the citrus salt technique on magazines, yep. and she's done hundreds of these. So she will be showing us how she does it, and it'll be a lot of fun. So that's what we're going to do Friday if you want to play along or just watch. It should be fun. That looks good, Colleen. It's kind of neat, right? I mean... See, they can see the gray. I had to blob it because my, my sprayer is clogged, but it's interesting. Does it kind of look like a turtle? Yes. Now I see it. I could see you making this into a turtle shell. Do, have you ever eaten uh, turtle legs? Ew! <laughs> oh my Ew. God, they are so good. Oh what? my God. Yeah. Frog legs, turtle legs. Oh my oh, gosh, no. Poor, yeah, poor turtles. Oh, only in Florida you would have that, and turtle legs. They don't have stuff like that here. Now, there might be people that do that, but they're not in a restaurant. Let's put it that way. Oh my gosh. Nope, Brooke, frogs, legs, and turtle. <laughs> I like that he has the like emoji with her hand over her mouth. <laughs> oh, that's good. I want to know when we're going to be able to get the new um, Antonio's new and vintage paste. Like, I was vintage, but his new paste is coming out. Make with. sure you leave it on there for a minute. Okay. I still can't get over the size of that tube. <laughs> yeah. it's, as I said, you could definitely boil this to somebody. <laughs> it's giant. <laughs> Gosh, I mean, it, I mean, you just can't make it. I tell you, they weren't chintzy when they when they um, when they did this. They weren't chintzy at all. Oh, 
Tempts you to put his wax in bottles like this. What do you think, Eileen? No, oh, his is liquid. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Yeah, this thing is giant. His new ones, I'm sure, will be smaller. And I'm I'm assuming they're similar to these. I watched a demo on the Stamperia's YouTube channel. And um, I was like, oh, that looks like fun. Dare says, Colleen, have you ever mixed it with mineral spirits? I think that is why it is so big. Hmm. What? When I took the classes with him, we used it on uh, book pages, and it was really nice. It's made large, so you can mix mineral spirits with it. We huh. never used mineral spirits with it. Interesting. Did it, have I left it on long enough, finally? Yeah. Okay. Get uh, a cloth or paper towel to rub it off. Oh, a dry one? Okay. Yeah. Make sure you rub it real good. Ooh, don't rub too hard. Rub off the paper. But well, I did get it really, really wet, so I did saturate this a ton. Oh, I really like this. No, it almost kind of looks like now it's not green. It looks like a turtle shell. Now it almost looks like cells or almost like cells. That's neat. So depending on what color you put on this, it, it, you see something different. It looks good. That's cool. And I like how that really sunk into the in, inside of it. It's cool. So what happens if you go over it with uh, an ink on top? Try or, it. Or if it would just go inside the little ridges. Try it. it don't forget, it is uh, oil-based. Oh, so it can ruin. Okay, so I need to use a maybe a paper towel instead of a, so I don't ruin the pad. I didn't think about that being oil-based. Let's just see. It just will kind of darken it up a little bit. I keep overtake my paper towel so I don't put the oil back into the ink pad. Kind of cool. Now you could have done that. Actually, I showed it in the back. So if you if you hadn't put the if you hadn't put the oil on it, you could if you don't have it, you could just that's how it would normally look. And I blobbed it. I wanted to cover that up. So I saw a girl on Instagram who is doing the hundred day. Uh, 100 day thing and one of the things that one thing I saw her doing is the same thing that Robin Marie is doing which um, Robin Marie is doing her 100 day project on book covers and she's also doing hers on book covers so I don't know who decided it first I'm sure Robin Marie don't care she wouldn't go and tell people what she did if she was worried about people copying um, but the other thing I thought was really cool, so she was using, she was using real photos versus these, let me see my, which are thick. I have a couple, let me find them on these drawers here. I 
thought it was a really neat idea. That's too big. Let's see, we can use these ladies. So she goes in. Let me get this smaller. And she cuts out one of the people and then leaves the rest that are like not necessarily people. Or even like if I was going to use this, you know, you would cut him out and leave the airplane. And she leaves part of the image and, um, and then cuts out one of them and puts them on top or cuts out multiples. It just depends. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. So like if I go in, I'll cut out the middle girl, leaving everyone on the edge. And I thought this was a cool idea. She's got a lot of people who's, who's looked at it. Um, I think who I saw like her, her thing. Like I make sure I don't cut off the top. Like, I got to leave a little bit so it's not completely detached. Hold on. I got to cut a little bit of her hair. Someone. Shoot. Who was it? Let's see if I saved it. It was someone famous. Famous. Uh, you know, popular. I would say popular. Popular artist. Okay. A popular artist who is liking her stuff now I was and I was really surprised by who it was and I wish I could remember who it was I was looking I was looking at it yesterday it's the first time I found her and so she's using these and then she add, leaves them missing and then adds like the people on the outside and finishes working on the card but it's kind of nifty it's just a neat idea so these are thinner and easier to easier to cut out, but you could do that with Tim's um, new. You could do that with Tim's new card too. So I'm these are too. These are way too big for this. Maybe this one. So you could do that with his new cards. You could try, uh, try her technique. Let me see if I can find her on my phone. We look at. I saved a couple of her things so that way I would be able to to find it for you. Her mistake. name is probably what's your name? It's <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Is what's it? What's her name? <laughs> oh, that's not it. Please tell me I saved it. Hold on, I saved so many images on t the other day. I was going through looking for ideas oh, come on tell me she's in here hold on this is why I like when Kathy's along Kathy's around to uh, help keep conversations going while I'm searching <laughs> hold on okay I can't son of a gun I can't find her I'm not trying to like, you know, not tell you. I just honestly can't. I could have swore it would have saved some of her art. Because I usually I'll try to save at least one or two 100 days, 2022 like search for this year's. It's got to be more than 100 posts. Um, I try to save it so I have it as a reference and I can go back and, and look at that. Remember that this artist, you know, I mean, posted this or whatever. Is it just called 100 Days? Do you guys know? Hello? I don't know. know. I don't know if it's like you just called 100 Days or is it called 100 Days of Art? No idea. A bunch of people are doing this. Let's try 100 Days of Art. Ah, I saw 100 Days of Bar. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I can't find her. When I do, I'll try to put it in the Facebook group when I find her. I honestly 
just at this moment, I could keep searching on my phone, but I don't have anyone here to distract you. So I'm not going to do that. And when I find her, I'll post it in the Facebook group. And I'm going to make sure I save some of her things so I can remember her next time I go to do this again. But I thought it was a real, I thought it was a really neat idea. Bye, yeah. Devin. See you, Devin. Devin, do you know what it's called? She's on Instagram all the time. 100 days. Is it just called 100 days? Is it Devin? the 100 day project? 100 day there is something called a 100 day project maybe that's it i mean there's ton there's literally tons of people doing this but everyone's doing everyone's doing everyone's doing something else you know what i'm saying She thought she was going to get the leave. Do uh, you, you think Ann wrote it above? Oh, that would help if I was reading chat. Thank you. 100 day projects. It is one. Okay. Maybe I can find her then. Because I hate when I refer to you to somebody and then I can't, I can't remember her name. It's only because I just found her last night. So it's just someone new I found to follow. Else I would have it more memorized. Hell, do you remember I was? Uh, do you remember I was trying to, to remember what's her name? The the, the key yeah, girl. what's your name? Tandy, Tandy Art or whatever. <laughs> and then her name ended up being different than her Instagram, and then. Then uh, Kathy found it for me. It was Tandy Art, and I couldn't remember her name. And I was like, she made this stencil. <laughs> Typical me. I need to, uh, I wasn't sure what we were going to be doing today. If Kathy was coming on, so I could have been more prepared and had, the, and had her name and found it before I came on. Where'd my letter go? All right, just had it. Here it is. Hey, is Sophia. Are they those sayings nice? Let's see. It looks like it, it's similar to almost similar to the stamps you you bought. Let's see, there's dates. Oh, this looks like addresses, math stuff, arrival 9 a.m. And here's some more like a flashcard division words. These are neat. I remember he said he bought the rights to make these from somebody on Etsy. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I like it. And then this one is in German part something. German type handwriting. 59 yards. That'd be cute if you did like a football one or if you were doing a fabric one telephone. Didn't didn't somebody say that old design shop may have sold some to Tim? Uh I think that was think that was Johnny, but then I think she was wrong. Oh, okay. And then it ended up being someone else. Now, who else it was? I can't tell you that either because I don't remember. Dare Dare says, Colleen, is it Dee Dee Catrone? No. That you're trying to not that you're trying to think. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, but thanks. That's not it. She's just a digi. She makes like. Digi, it's just a digi person. She's famous. I know most of you would know it if you hear it. Like if you hear it, you're gonna know. It, you're must, like, oh. be, it must be me then. <laughs> it, it was you, Eileen. It was famous you. She is uh, Eileen is uh, 
excellent at DigiArt, in case you, you didn't know that. She used to do, she used to do a lot more Digi, uh, only Digi. And I think she, didn't you start doing DigiArt because it's just less messy? Yeah, it was fun. it's fun to do. I haven't even put the pro Photoshop on this new computer, though. But I don't do, I do digi art, not things that you could buy, like flowers or anything like that. Oh, that's true. Eileen does do, like, she, she made one for me and I framed it. Yeah, she does do like images and layers on with backgrounds and makes basically an entire page, journal page or whatever. She used to make those and then she now gets a little more messy. So I remember you posting them on Twitter all the time. Yeah. Now, was that when you were posting the everyday, like, calendar today is uh, the weird stuff? Like, today is squirrel day or today is whatever. Oh, God, I don't remember. Did you remember was... you were doing that? Like, whatever the... <sighs> Who's on Twitter that is in there in chat lurking can help me. Kathy's not here to help me remember. <laughs> Damn, Kathy, where are you, darling? Where are you? I need you to help remember stuff. You did do that. Yes, you were, she did. It, yeah, because you were posting every day. It was almost like you were basing it on. You were basing it on whatever the calendar said it was. Well, it must have been before I lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't know if I like any of these. Hold on. I'm not liking my arrangement. I got to think about this a second. I got to think about what I use. I'm not happy with any of this. Uh... Does anyone chat here used to it was on Twitter with us forever? Doesn't look like there is. Joan, maybe. Is it Joan? She's been in a group a long time, like on Twitter and stuff. Is it Joan? Joan might know. Whoever it might know just doesn't want to come out lurk mode either. Might be too. Okay, for instance, like what is today? If you looked it up, like is there... Yeah. There's the type of digital art I do. I did. Oh, did. There you go. You should show that. Eileen's really talented. That's all I thought she did. Honestly, I didn't even know she did like other stuff. I thought that's I thought that was all she did was digital art when I first started seeing her post because that's all I saw her post. Because there wasn't Instagram. They didn't have Instagram then. And some of us were using Facebook. Some of us weren't. And I thought at one point, didn't Dee Dee do something too? Like it had to do with whatever it is like one day is pie day and um it was squirrel appreciation day and like the when i did the squirrel happened to be squirrel it happened to be squirrel appreciation day that's what i'm talking about and then i thought you were posting digitals i thought you were posting digitals for every day
But this was some years back. Like this was years ago. So, and in Eileen's defense, this was years ago. It was probably on Ustream. No, you post them on Twitter. Yeah, you used to post them on Twitter and um, like your digi art and then your, I think you gave other people ideas to start doing digi art. Because a lot of people weren't in our group. Oh, good. Everybody's over there looking. Cool. The better me saying that she's really good, you can go see for yourself. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. Those fit in there, right? Oh, they, oh, they don't fit in there. These were made to fit in here. Oh, really, Janice? I swore these were made to fit in here, but they're not. It's too big. Okay, I guess it's just going to sit in here loose. Thank you. She is. She's super talented, people. She's done everything. That's why I like I come on and I'm like, I found something new and new and exciting. And Eileen's like, eh, did that. Eh, well, did when that. you get as old as CB, you've done everything. I did that. <laughs> Yeah, try again. Colleen, what is yes. that stapler you bought? Oh, I haven't gotten it yet. It's coming today. It's it's cool. It's a, it's a stapler that doesn't use doesn't use staples. I think that's the type of a, a stapler that we used to use to put legal documents together. Yeah, it did say show it. You uh, there's multiple ones. There's one where you, it would almost like tear the corner, and you could do a pile of documents. And then the one I and then there's another one which I got was more of a. It almost like smushes it, like it just like um, just pushes it together. <laughs> I saw. I thought it was really neat. I saw a girl on Instagram using it, and I should get that tomorrow. Yeah, I, I looked at it, but I don't um, read uh, Chinese, so I had no idea. What <laughs> I, <was doing. laughs> I don't know, but it, it, they they were they were uh, they were neat. They're in the office supply section. I saw a girl on Instagram using them, and then there's that that girl, and uh, that's another what's her name. <laughs> <laughs> and I was whatever looking for it. And I was like, well, that's kind of cool. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not like you're going to, you're not going to like, you know, use it every single day. But I mean, I still think it would be fun though. Oh, Max says she has a staple like that. And it's Japanese. It's Jap. Oh, uh, who? Well, Max? Yeah. Okay. It's to you, but Max to me. Oh, Eileen was the first swap swap partner I had. She sent me a beautiful pocket letter I still cherish. Oh, that's neat. Do you remember doing the pocket letters, Eileen? No. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't remember that either. Oh, my goodness. I got a pocket letter. I got mine from Zandra. And I don't remember if I had more than or Zandra sent me one and she wasn't my partner. She just sent me one. Are they the ones that we sent so many to Dee Dee and she gave out? Did she I know I thought we no, it was Paula. Didn't Paula start it? And we were wasn't it Paula? Oh, my memory. Dang it. Maybe Janice remembers. Let me see if I can find my binder with the pocket letters.
I acquired it, TV. Well, remember, I was born on Friday the 13th. Oh, Linda. I wonder how Linda's doing. Oh, Linda Hollis, she's in our group. You can you can private message her. She's oh, in our really? group. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, Linda's on Instagram, Facebook, and she's on our Facebook group. Yeah, Linda likes my stuff. She, I like Linda. Her and I, her and I understood each other. Okay. Okay, it was... What was the girl's name that was a good friend of Paula's and they went down to Maryland together? And for the life of me, I can't remember her name. Do you remember who she was? No. See, I got one from Paula. This one was from Paula. She did. She did a. She did a background. Yes, Sherry. That's who it was. Thank you, Kerry. All these people that are just gone. They just disappeared. Sad. We had. We had so many. We had so many nice art. Nice friends. Nice art friends that are busy or. Well, I don't know the circumstances, but it just kind of makes me sad a little bit. I don't know how any, I don't know if they're okay or how they're doing. So on the back, um, I end up, on the back side, we would put stuff in these. So these are, um, I can't remember if she, this is what you put on the back. Back side. Oop, someone put me on twice. Okay. So there was a little glue thing. So yeah, mute me, Eileen. Or I've got something going. Hold on. Did I do that? No, I did. Okay. I make sure I keep bumping my mouse. Okay, so this is the one I got from uh, Z because she did. Remember, she makes all those bears. So this is, and she put like jewelry on it and a little chipboard piece. And then inside, everyone was putting um, everyone was putting different types of teas in the pocket. And then you could take the stuff out and use it. Or this one was just like a little pen. Just I could as she put on there. I should put that in my bird journal. On the back side, she put some paper clips and little jewels. Everyone's was different. This was fun to do. Um, they did about, this is a Valentine's theme, probably using, um, they made this into a, a pocket. Whose was this? Is this, this is, I don't know. Bye, Maggie. Bye, Maggie. Have a good day. Um, yeah, this is mine. I did a Dr. Pepper one. These are just back to ATCs. I guess I just have two pocket letters. It was from Sandra and from Paula. Yeah, those were fun. And the rest are just the rest are just from different ATC exchanges we did. So fun times. Let's go back in time. Okay. Ooh, I smeared the ink. Oh, I forgot this is distressing. Now these is just is just gonna sit in my box because it doesn't actually fit in the card. Like it doesn't fit. So that's just gonna that's just gonna sit in the front there. And then when I figure out the girl's name, I'm gonna put her name on the back. I saw doing that technique. And I'm gonna put it in there because I'll be later on, I'll be going, it was, you know, you know, it was her. You know, her. <laughs> Or some of those pockets, some are plain and some have tabs. 
Do they have, uh, do they have what? Tabs. Yeah, so you get pockets and you get cards and then you get tabs. Thank you. Yeah, that's what you do get. Do, well, do the tabs fit in the pockets? No. Oh, no, the tabs might. No? No? Okay. The tabs don't fit in there and the cards. That's weird. They didn't design those to fit. You're gonna, if you wanted to, you're going to have to cut it. But do it before you decorate it. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I was thinking you could do with this is you could, um, you could slice this open. And then you can make this, um, you know, have it open up to like a little book or whatever. And then have that sitting in there. Yeah, that's weird. It don't fit. I'm confused as to why they didn't do that. Let's do some of these do they have to put on it. What are you going to use the uh, nails for? I'm thinking... It would be fun to use the nails on that box from Dee Dee Catron. You know, because I was thinking after I paint it, it would be kind of neat to like put the nails like in the front and then have stuff hanging off of it. I mean, I also could put like a plate on the front of it. Like, oh, this is backwards. Um, Dale, this has a plate, you know. A plate on the front you can also do that too right but i don't know i was thinking i would use it i would try to nail through this um, and hang stuff off of it that's one idea i don't know what else i would do i'm not sure are you going to paint that one box yeah i have them all glued together i just got to paint them i think i'm going to paint them white and then that it kind of serves as like a base coat and then kind of go from there and figure out what I want to do. If I want to do paint the design on it, if I want to just like glue and collage on top of it with some tissue paper. Yeah, I don't know. That's gonna be that's gonna be the hard part because there's so many things I like, like narrowing it down. They're pretty papers. They are pretty. I like this. Where'd you get them? These were part of the Your Creative Studio. This was the first month I got it. This is January. Oh. Did you get January's? No, I, I supposedly I got February and I didn't like anything that was in it. Oh, that's right. Because you didn't. It was a guard. It, it was a garden theme, and you and you didn't like. And you didn't like the garden theme. I mean, I, the next one, I think, if at least I've been watching people open it after stuff, I think it's going to be a butterfly kit. Oh, and I just I, this one has a bunch of those tabs. You know, how you were you were stamping the tabs and then putting those in there. Right. I wonder if you could take. So you probably could take. Um, this has some numbers inside. I remember, I, I think Kathy had used these, so you might be able to take this and maybe use ten stuff on it. Are they stickers? Um. No, it's just cardstock. We're going to do with the temp stuff now. Hold on. It piles around me. There's the ones I just bought. Hold on. Look at these. What if you could, then you could mix some of Tim's new little things with those. I think that would be kind of fun. Any words? Let's see. I did not print out the ones that, that 
other ones I have. I haven't printed those out yet. So I might be to do something like this. Maybe let's see, get a piece of vellum. Get a piece of vellum. Put on. Uh, geez, seriously, I have acetate. I have some colored vellum. I was looking for. I could use some colored vellum, I guess. I'd be pretty with it, actually. Do something like this. This. I'm going to break up the Hold on. And maybe they should be on top of that one. And then maybe a little, what else came with the kit? Be good if I had like a little, hold on. Maybe this. Something like this. And then that kind of softens it up and then I have that sticking out. Something like this. Let me stitch these together real quick. Bring my sewing machine over, I would, but that would really be a pita. Okay, this is kind of cool. All right, so if this is stitched on and it make it look a little more interesting, you'll need all these strings. After this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off of here after this. Um, after I decorate this. That looks kind of cool. Let me see if I can ink. Let me ink the edges of this real quick. Anyone else doing any thing star doing anything? Does anyone uh, do anything interesting new? Different. Want to share with everybody? I should get my l label tape. I guess is what it's called. The Johnny shared today. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. That'd be neat. And I will tell anybody. I'll give you a word of advice. If anybody wants to make some really good tape and use alcohol ink. The color that Johnny uses, buy it now because Johnny probably bought every one every, ever made. <laughs> she going to confess? That looks good. Yeah, just stitching it just kind of, and then the vellum just kind of makes it more interesting. Hi, you know, Judy. It's just kind of boring. Hi, 
Peggy says she's cataloging her dyes. How? How do you do that? Catalog. You're making that would take me three weeks. Oh, it, so are you writing down like in a book, like what dyes you have, so you can reference it? Are you gonna like have an example of each as well? Do you remember Jen the way she? cataloged her dies and stamps oh my god i all remember right. she had them all in nice little notebook things and had numbers on them and oh yeah yay ryan has a good system for um good system going for his is it stamps or he has them like in a book the what is his name? Grunge. Glitter Grunge. Glitter Grunge. Yeah, he has um, he has a nice system for finding his stamps. Like they're all stamped in a binder, and then he he has like a location for them. It's pretty. I can't imagine how long that took to set that up. Honestly. Oh my god, Peggy, you're scanning them. Wow. Oh, did you scan? Oh, that makes sense. Is she scanning the covers? That'd be way quicker. Actually, that's smart. All right, maybe when you get done, you can post that. Probably a lot of people would be interested in, in seeing how you're doing that. Or, I need to call. Um, organization is. I would have all my flower dyes together. Then by the time I used them, it's all mixed up. So I just throw them down. Uh, what, 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 uh, what inspired you to start doing that? You just couldn't find certain things you were looking for or what? Thanks, Judy. Oh, but if you can't find something, going through everything is great because you find things you didn't remember you had. Oh, so you're saying there's advantages. But then you forget what you were originally looking for. That's true. <laughs> Has anybody ever used any of the uh, Seth After dies? They are really nice dies. They're by Spellbinder. I don't have any of his dies, I don't think. Myself. Peggy says she watched my inky fingers and liked her method. Oh, there you go, girl. Check out my inky fingers. Maybe you'll see something that you could do with your organizing your dyes. Thanks for sharing that. <clears throat> I don't know if I follow them. My inky fingers. I don't think I do. I don't think I ever heard of them. No, yeah. I've never heard of them. Me either. She's got 38,000 subscribers. Holy moly. And we've never wow. heard of her? That just goes to show, right? How many of their YouTubers there are, you know? To artists, that is. I want to do something else. I love these uh, streamers that say, oh, I'm going up to 5,000 subscribers and i'm like oh my god <laughs> yeah there's some that are up there that's for sure i think i think for the like i said the, the live streaming is gonna is you're not gonna be as you know popular as if you were doing it's the recorded videos because you know, everyone wants to see everything fast so that's the way to build up the i think your channel if you want just a bunch of people 
subscribing. But I watch them too. I mean, I'm guilty of watching them too. But I like that we can interact and talk. And um, Oh, my God. You want to see her, yeah. her dream craft room tour. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Why not, Eileen? That looks cute. That way it's just like a little subtle stamping on there to where it just it's not plain, but you can still, you know what I mean, but it doesn't compete with uh doesn't compete with what you're doing. That's like pretty that. clean. I like how that looks. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole theme. Or just kind of do whatever I feel like doing. Like, I don't know if I'm going to stay necessarily stay with, like, using, you know, vintage or whatever in here. Um, or, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to commit to being this has to be plain or whatever. Oh, man, I'm glued on the back. Otherwise, I got to decorate the back. I could glue it on the back because it doesn't matter that it's a little bit larger. What do you think? Yay, nay. Decorate the back. That looks good. I don't know. I don't know if I should decorate the back of it or if I should glue the other thing on the back. Yeah, I like that. I think it's cute up to the side, but I don't know if I'm necessarily going to, you know, stick with just vintage or whatever. If I'm in the mood to do something colorful, then I'm going to do something colorful. So I don't know if it's all going to be the same or not. So I'm not going to commit to that. But, you know, but, but because he's just resting here, like we're doing the flashcards, if you pull them out, the backs are done. So it'd be whether we want to think about whether to do the backs of them. So that way, you know, I mean. So you know, I would make something and put in the envelope. I don't know what size would fit in the envelope. We grab it like an ATC. off camera again if the ATC fits. Well, ATC fits, but it's almost too small. This is too big. Get one of the index cards and cut it down. Um, it'd be nice if we had something consistent pre-made. You know what I mean? That's just, I mean, he's going to Why? Because then you'll buy, able to buy different things. But they all work together. Um, let's just use this as a... Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that the these don't fit in here. I'm How a about a little uh, small flash card? Do they fit? See, like, this is too big, too. So it's almost like you're going to have to, you're going to have to make a template, maybe. So if you want to. The flashcard, Colleen, does the small flashcards fit? Um, oh, the letters? Well, they would fit, but they're tiny. You mean the words, the little attempts? 
items are you talking about? The, no, any any that you have that are small. These are these are a little bigger. Let's see. Well, at least they stick out above it. You know what I mean? At least they stick out above it. So, I mean, it's narrow. I mean, it's much more narrow than what the width of the card is. But at least it's at least you have something in the tab. So that's true. You could do if you have these. You could do many the many ones. I think these are. I think these are. Uh, where Tim's from a long time ago, he now has a new set out. But those will work, and they're, and they're stiff. But if you want something wider, you guess you could gauge, you could use this and make it, and just custom make your own size. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed with that. But, I mean, overall, it's, it's a cute box. It's a cute design. Um, I just wish they would have made the cards that came in it or fit in it. So what do you think, Eileen? Does it make sense to put small ones in there? Yeah, or you can get a, just get a file folder and cut a template and make your own. Yeah, they came together and they don't fit. I know. I would think that they would have made money by selling inserts for these. They missed it. Because <laughs> the eight, well, the ATC is too small. It's just too short. This is probably the right length, but uh, it's not the right width. Yeah, they, they kind of missed the opportunity to uh, profit. So there's that. Now maybe everyone would be happy with making their own. Maybe that's what they would rather do. I guess that's just me. I mean, not everyone doesn't think the same as me, right? So they How will you get like, out one of your index cards? I did. I had to cut it to fit, make it fit. Oh, okay. They're, they're too big too. This is the small index cards. I mean, I had to cut it to make it fit. I mean, that's about the best you can do. And then decide how tall you want it. Yeah, they're too big, too. So what size is this? This is two and a half. And it's too tall. So two and a half inches. So whatever you put in there needs to be about two and a half inches wide. And in order to just get it in and out, that's too tall. Any ideas? Yeah, Eileen, let Timmy know. I think that's a good idea. Will yeah, do. Yeah. yeah. You could cut down the cards that come with it to go in there, but it's kind of silly that you have to cut these down. So, what's what's the length of that pocket? Pocket is four and seven eighths. But the width, I mean, what you can fit in it, what you can, I mean, because the outside of this is like two, almost two and three quarters. But I, mean, I just told you two and a half is what fits. So you kind of have to make it smaller. So let's say you don't want to, you just want it barely protruding out. That would be about four inches. So four by two and a half cards fit. I wonder if a lot of people are using those pockets for, and for Mary, that if they cut out different die shapes and put them in there to hold them. Um, that's a possibility. I mean, it could be. 
but I mean, an index card will work. It's 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 flimsy, but it's easy to cut out. Janice says two and a half wide is an ATC width. Oh yeah, the ATC fits, but the, the ATC is not tall enough. It disappears. See why? If you put that oh. in there, it disappears. Yeah. Darlene, Darlene has a good idea. Do you have a tag die to make tags to fit in there? I do have the one Timmy tag die that you had, Kathy and I buy. I don't remember. Does size. it have the different shape dies or different size dies? Hey, look. Hold on. Does anybody know what size a, a, a number eight die is? Yeah, that would. Let's see. Is it in here? Oh, these could be fun to use that for. I forgot about these. Um, where is it? Maybe it's in a. I know I have that. I know I have it. I just gotta find it. Well, it says that size eight Manila shipping tags are six and a quarter by three and an eighth. So they wouldn't fit either. I know I have his dot. I can't find it. Hold on. That way I'm not keep walking away. So here's this tag. This one, this one at least sticks out. That's not too bad. It's narrower. You got like a gap. If you use, that's going to be too giant. I like the tag in there. Too tiny. This at least from what I have in my stash, this one seems it you got a gap, but it does stick out. So this would be it's this one. This one is um four and three quarters by two and a half. So remember I just said that's pretty much what I called out when I did my did my own. So there you go. So that works. And that looks that doesn't that looks pretty good. So if you get this size tag, you I don't know what size this is. Like to go like eight or ten or I don't know. It's probably smaller than a size eight. Yeah, because here's this one. That's what's in there. And there's this one. This one fits. Too, but then it's really tall. Depends on what you want it's sticking out. Which I don't think that looks too good. I think this size looks a little bit better. If anyone can figure out what size that tag that is, that's what you need. And I like the hole in it. So there you go. Problem solved. Just gotta buy you some tags to go with. If you buy this Tim's thing, you need to buy some tags. Now, I don't think these are Tim's. I think these were, uh, these are just like regular ones from, um, you know, Staples or whatever. I don't think they're anything fancy. I think they're just ones I got probably at Staples.
Yeah, use fibers on the tag. Excuse me. Yeah, I think this will work. I like the tag in there. All right. I do too. I don't know if I have enough of these. I'll just, I, I, this might be all I have. So I might need to get whatever size that is. Excuse me. And then I could just keep them in here till keep them what's, in here. What's the measurement on the, that tag? So I don't know. Two, what did I say? Two and a half by four and a half? Yeah. It's a, one line over four and a half. <laughs> One line before two. Let me get my real ruler. Peggy's going to yell at me. Peggy's like, two people sent me this ruler. Um, Because I'm so bad at measuring. Okay. The exact one. Four and three quarters. And two and five eighths. Well, no, and five sixteenths. The size six tag is five and a quarter by two and five eighths. That's what you need. What size did you say that was? Size six. Size six. And what was the length? What? A five and a quarter by two. Oh, and five and a quarter is too long. This is four and three quarters. The, the width was perfect. That length is too long. Well, was okay. your size five? <laughs> yeah, well, he said you could cut cards, cut these cards down to fit, but I don't think you should have to cut them down. I mean, obviously, you could cut anything down to fit, you know what I mean, Christine, but I just, I just think that that I just think they should have came with, I think they should have came with an option to buy things. The tags to put in it are with tags in them. Because like, why well, I wouldn't want to necessarily cut down these cards because then you're going to have half the cards that came with the kit because you cut them down and put in here. I think that I think a tag is the best. I, I think a tag is a better option, and it looks kind of neat with it sticking out like that. So, what if we take one of these? Let me see if I can get this one and, and use, like I mentioned, use this. Okay, size five tag is four and three quarters by two and three eighths. There you go. Size five, everybody. All right, now I do. Something I had mentioned before is like if you can make a little booklet with this, if you want idea. And I was also thinking it'd be kind of neat if you if you run this through and, and have the holes in it and then something showing through in the back. Let me run this through real quick. Here it is. Why did I leave it in here? It has to be in here. Okay, I did a darndest thing. I was looking for this.
Okay, so this is kind of cool. All right, so I used the beehive, the little beehive die, and then you got all these little bits if you wanted to reuse them. And then you could have something showing through. Did you hear of that lady with Zorn Ryan's? And she says when she cuts a die, like the beehive or whatever, she puts a piece of, uh, what the heck does she put on the back of it? Um, let's see. She puts something on the back of the, of the paper so that when you get it, you can use all the pieces in the exact shape. God, I wish I knew what she put back there. Um, Tim has an octagonal die. No, I but guess. like in the back of this, you know, you have all those little pieces on your yes. plate. She yes. puts something on the back and then she can pull it up and all those little pieces are in the exact shape as that, that die. Oh, so they, they, they stick to it, Eileen? They stay together and they don't fall yeah. apart. They stay together. Like right. um, a sticker sheet, maybe? Like if you would maybe take a sticker sheet and lay it across no, like the printer. Something that, would, that wouldn't cut through. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it also, it does, oh so you leave some of these in. So some are there and some aren't? No. See all the little pieces you have? Yes. If you put, before you die cut it, she puts this piece of paper, I forget what it's called, on the back of the paper. So when she pulls the die up, all those little pieces are all in the exact same way they're coming out of that die. Does she do something with them? After, after they're stuck on this thing, that I do, I don't remember. So the th the thing that makes them stick means that you don't have to poke poke at it. it they are automatically stick on there and come out. I don't know. I have to, I have to figure <laughs> out what she said. She said it, but you've not seen. You she said it, but you haven't seen it done. No. Say. Okay, so I think I, I think I would need no, to. No, I don't think, Peggy. It's something that the dye wouldn't cut through. Hmm. Interesting. And it's sticky. Let's see if I can. Let's no, it isn't really sticky. It and why does them. why do the pieces stick on there? Yes, that's it, Peggy. Press and seal. Oh, press and seal plastic stuff, plastic, plastic wrap? Oh, plastic wrap for your kitchen. Really? Yes, that's it. I knew it was wow. something. That's an idea. That's cool. That is a cool idea. I will spray everything around me. I am messy. I like that idea. Press and seal. And, it, and it, the, the die cutting machine doesn't cut through the press and seal. I guess not. Huh. It's hard to believe. Ryan didn't try it, so I don't know exactly if it'll work or not. Did he, did he see her comment? Yeah. He okay. talked about it, but didn't do it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Peggy, Jennifer McGuire's hu husband invented that. Really? Press and seal? Yeah. I didn't know that. He literally, he invented this, the sticky saran wrap. Wow. How did you find that out? He was the inventor. Because I guess she told everybody. <laughs> the obvious movie. <laughs> Oh, Peggy <laughs> says you place it on top after you die cut to keep the pieces in place. I need to move my tags. I had it halfway right. Let me 
I got room to work. I always make my, wherever I'm working, it gets smaller and smaller. This is the oxide mustard seed, in case you're wondering. This might be cute. I'll use I'll use the um, the new. I love this bumblebee by Graphic Forty Five. I really like this paper. Now I want to make sure I grow some sunflowers this year, just so like. I can use the I can use the paper for that too. Take some pictures of sunflowers. Shelly made a comment on my Instagram saying that her grandpa uh, used to grow sunflowers, and he loved growing sunflowers every year. And she has fond memories as a kid is seeing her grandpa with his sunflowers. And what he would do, you know, is, is she said or she said someone took a picture of him, and she has a picture of him, like just standing there admiring his sunflowers and looking up at them. And she said it, they were always like, they're always like really big. And she has really fond memories of sunflowers because she associates it with, associates it with her grandfather. And I yeah, thought that's that, was, nice. that was a really neat story that she shared on Instagram. I, I love to eat sunflower seeds. Do you really? Yeah, I like them. I like them on salads. I like eating sunflower seeds and salads. It adds that, I don't know, good flavor to your salad, like sprinkled on top of your salad. I have now yellow and blue fingers. I'm looking good, people. I'm looking good. All in the name of art. <laughs> I might do is rub um, like a black over top of this part. I don't know if I have a. Does he have a? Do I have a black spray? Hold on. Let me look. I uh, think Marabou has a black spray, but I don't know if it's clogged or not. <laughs> Here's Coco. That is, it doesn't have to be black, I guess. Well, it's black in the sunflower, though. Let's see. This one's black. Let's see if it's clogged or not. I should have did that first, but oh well. The Marabou sprays are nice because they're permanent. So they're like Dina Wakely sprays. They are permanent. So, but they also clog up because they are permanent. Advantages and disadvantages. Okay, why did the bead stop shaking? You're shaking it wrong. No kidding. You're shaking the bead right up in the sprayer. No, and no kidding. I, I, I made a mess. Hold on. I'm going to dry this. It's permanent. I should be able to go back over it. Hold on. Should have done this first. Well, no, the yellow one never went over that, though. Hold on. Bear with me. This is how we play in that part. Oh, I missed that part too. You could use this for a stencil while you're <laughs> while you're doing this. <laughs> My daughter's gonna stop over later and Tom's gonna help her with tax stuff. That time of the year. Hey, 
He actually really enjoys doing that. Honestly, he loves doing stuff like that. He loves doing taxes and numbers and math. He just, he really enjoys it. Only person I know that enjoys, uh, enjoys stuff like that. Of course, the downside is he had to tell my other daughter they had they owed on their taxes, so <laughs> then getting back money. So there's the downside to it. He had to, was the didn't uh, have good news. They had to pay my other one. Had she had to pay, and to go both ways. We did not have to this year. I was very happy. Usually we have to pay in. Now my youngest sat with them because she wants to learn how to do taxes herself. And um, so she wants to try to learn it herself. I mean, oldest, she probably will be fine. She probably will, doesn't want to. We'll be interested to see. She'll probably be fine with letting him do it. I'm just glad that he likes to do stuff like that because I don't. Almost looks dark blue. Yeah, you drive getting your taxes done. <laughs> Mike said it. You have to pay in every year. You need to taxes <laughs> Exactly. Last year, I think last year and a year before we had to pay in. I think he adjusted it. So this year we, we did not have to pay in. So I was like, yay. Yeah, that's a very hate to be like, well, sorry, hon, you actually owe. And then my other daughter will see if she owes or whatever. She also like has Tom look at the look at everything and then based on the numbers, like if she needs to change what he's having taken out at work or whatever, he figures all that stuff out. And uh, for her too, it'll be like, well, you need to have it like this or that and the other. So it's kind of cool. Okay, now I gotta fix the yellow since it's a mess. I did everything in the wrong order. Don't do any order I did it in. Do you think the yellow is gonna cover up that? Guess we'll find out. Let's try. If it doesn't, it does I have to use paint? Yeah, I kind of beat it up. That's kind of cool. I'm going to leave this in here a minute. It's going to leak under otherwise. Ooh, tell me it's leaking. Please don't leak. I need you to not leak. I just got rid of you. Don't leak. Okay, that's not going to work. Hold on. Don't give up. I have to just paint it. What do you think, Eileen? Do I put some paint on it? Do I grunge it up and leave it as is? What do you think? Let's see if I have a yellow as permanent. I mean, that would solve my problems. Hold on. Let's get. I keep saying, hold on, hold on. I don't know why I say that. I just do. So if you're wondering why I keep saying that, I just do that when I'm looking for something that I, I hate to um, bore everybody. Oh, of course, this one's, this one's clogged. We had one year and that sucked. They gave, they had extra, yeah. That's the thing. You can always like you can always go back and adjust it 
but it doesn't help for that current year, you know? Yeah. But if you're getting money, it's, it's kind of a party, right? You're like, hmm, what art supplies do I need? Okay, that's not going to work. I'm just going to have to paint it. It's going to be slow, but I think I'm just going to paint it. Hold on. Let's get some yellow paint. It's going to be slow. I did it in the wrong order, of course. I was talking to my oldest the other day, and I was telling her that I look forward to spring, but I don't look forward to the aspect of spring um, as far as like the wasp and stuff like that. I don't mind bees because bees are kind of like, yeah, I mean, they're doing their, the bees just don't bother you, you know, but the wasp on the other hand, yeah, I have a problem. You know, it would kind of been neat if I would used this on my jelly plate, but it's too late to game for that. Um, but yeah, I don't like the wasp. So I do enjoy uh, springtime. And we also get those weird, we also get those weird mud dauber things. They kind of look like wasp, but they're not wasp. Um, we get those too. And they're always by the where we go in and out the door and i'm like really so yeah that's my least favorite part of spring is the those black things that resemble wasps but they're not wasp and they're always around our back door and i, I don't know why they're always around the back door they're Must never like, there's something there yeah, it's never the front. It's always they're always around the back door, and I'm like, why, why? Because I, I see my dogs running around trying to uh, bite them, like trying to catch them, and I'm always like, no, don't they, do that, don't do that. They can make nests in all kinds of places, and you don't even see the nest. See you later. Bye, Bye CB. Why Bye. is your tower going off? And she knows it's going off. Are you doing some renovations again? <laughs> I'm going to do some collaging, I think, on top, and that will simplify my big mess, too. I'm going to stop at this point, and I'm going to collage on top, I think. At least I have some ye more yellow over top of that black. I still do like that I put the black on there, but I don't like the rest of it. But I'm not going to give up yet. Just saying. I don't give up that easy. I would have cut the, cut the dye out of black and stuck it on top. You would have oh, won it? Never mind, because then you couldn't see through it. Forget it. Oh, okay. I was like, if you had a better idea, I wish you had said something to me sooner before I made a mess. Of course, I'm pretty good at making messes, so just saying. Yeah, you're perfect at it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am good at this. The queen of messiness. Look at my fingers. This is obvious. Maybe it just means that, you know, I like to have fun. Maybe it doesn't mean I'm messy. <laughs> Maybe it means I like to have fun. I'm fine. I'm looking through my pack of paper here. This has some red in it. I don't think the red's going to show. So, well, a little bit. Let's put to a little now bit. Now it is, Mike. She can see through the uh, envelope now. Yeah, I just thought it just, I, I need to forget about tearing the other direction, which would be helpful. Um,
Don't listen if you don't like inking. <laughs> I'm going to do this quickly. So, Ooh, I even managed to get splatters on that paper. That must have been from the last time I did it. That's talented. That's talented, don't you think? So, so you can make a booklet. You can make your pockets. I think these are versatile. I think I'd say I will give this a... I will give this a a B minus just because they don't have they don't have cards that actually fit inside the tags. Did you die cut that envelope or pull one of Tim's apart? I die cut the uh, envelope with his die. Oh, okay. Yeah, with the, the beehive die. Like no, the, um, the envelope itself. Oh. Uh, I cut his. This is his. I cut it up. Is that what you're oh, asking? Okay. I'm going to cut it up, but then I'm going to I'm gonna close it back up. So no one, I don't know why it's full with the inside of it. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ooh, this B would be pretty. I use this B paper. <laughs> I wonder if Kathy went shopping after she did. Oh, she so <laughs> did. So just said, haha, Colleen's streaming. I'm going to go and go shopping. She so did. Yeah, she did. Let's see, where is my glue stick? I just tossed it aside. Here it is. Let's not talk to her when she comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan, Eileen. I like it. She probably, she probably went to her scrapbook store. Yeah, that's a possibility. He does like to get air. She should have asked us for permission, don't you think? She should have. That's what I was thinking. She should have asked us for permission. No, she's going to say when she got home, she was so tired, she took a nap. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> she will say that. She's like Tom. I, she's a power napper. I don't nap. I don't ever take naps. She she crashes. Yeah, I take. I do not. Uh, I do not nap. If I nap, I would never get to sleep at night. I have trouble sleeping as it is. Like uh, there's no way. If I nap, I would fall asleep. I'd be up all night. I'm already up all night. I can't imagine actually napping tom he can nap anywhere any place anytime like literally he i, I mean can sleep standing up i never seen him <laughs> tom that like he can just have a wall to lean on i mean he literally can sleep anywhere <laughs> i'm just like now me i can't like that's part of the reason i guess i don't nap like if I was on the couch, for sure, my dogs would be like, you know, my dogs would be, you know, up there and they'd want to be around me and then they'd be barking at people. And I see he can sleep through everything and I can't sleep through all that noise and ruckus either. So I always tell him I have, um, because you're jealous, aren't you? And I'm like, yep, you nailed it. I'm jealous because I can't. I can't sleep like he does. He's asleep in like five minutes. And that's everything. He crashes like, boom, he's out. As soon as I see him nodding off, it's already too late. Like, he's he's gone. <laughs> like, you can't even, like, you can't even, like, even wake him up. Once he starts nodding, I mean, that's because, you know, he's, he's there already. 
<laughs> I'm actually going in and he's nodding off and his head keeps bobbing back. I'll take and put like a pillow behind his head on the couch. Oh, thank God you said behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, yeah, like he starts nodding off and I'm just like, he's going, he's just literally going to wake up with a backache from this. And um, yeah, I'll go put a pillow behind his back or his neck because his head keeps bobbing and I'm like, he's going to have a sore neck. Aren't I a good wife? I don't wake him up and I prop his head up with a pillow. <laughs> Just saying. I like that leaf. I wonder if I could have. Now, I was a power napper when I was in school. I will say I was a power napper in school. So, but when I was younger, but not now. I always tell, I always tell my kids, don't do what I did. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> My, oh, this me? Oh, yeah. Like, I'm messy. Um, I'm so messy. It's, yeah. My bottles are messy. My scissors. Look at me. I bought a clean hair dryer. Yeah. My hair dryer is no longer clean. Oh, yeah. Everything gets messy when I'm working. That's what I said. I share, I share that in common with, uh, with Dina Wakely. Her and I are, uh, she's messy when she's working and I'm definitely messy when I'm working. That's what I said I, when I saw that you had to keep the, you said you had to keep the cap on that new stuff. I was like, no, nah, I don't need to own that. Because I'm going to, I'm going to totally forget. And leave the lid off. That's for someone who's neat. And uh, who's in, you know, neat and tidy and paying attention to what they're doing. Like him. You know, he's very, he's very neat. I swear, uh, Dina Wakely's uh, apron must weigh 50 pounds. <laughs> yeah, but I, what I like is that she doesn't care what she does. Like, she just, like, does it. Just does it. And everything she does turns out great. And she never, she never sweats it out like there's you know like me where I just like screwed this up and got the yellows contaminate with the black I should just left alone like she would she was somehow salvaged that without having to cover it up and and made it look awesome and she would have figured that out out somehow I like that because I watched some of the things that she makes because I'm like a patron and like I'm like wow Like it's no big deal to her. She's like, it's, and I know it's just paper, right? But at the same time, I'm like, I want to, you know, I wish I, I think she has no worries. And then it turns out perfect. Maybe that's the whole, the whole thing. She would have just like maybe threw some stencils over top or what this mess I made or who knows. Yeah, you can be a patron to her for five dollars a month. It's really cheap, and uh, and uh, you get a once a week. She comes on live for forty minutes and uh, just kind of plays. Really, you just watch her art, and it's really you know it's really nice. Now, if I could, if I could learn how to do that, right? That's the other question. I guess I secretly wanted to be able to. 
Better be practice, I guess so. Oh, like remember I was doing, we were working on her book and we were, and I was just like splashing that paint. I had so much fun splashing that paint. Yeah, I, she does that stuff all the time. Like she splashes, she'll splash the paint. Um, yeah, that, that's her normal. And that was really fun to do. I think I'm splash, I splash everything, but it's because not on purpose. There, I'm gonna leave that patchy yellow. I'm okay with that because it's just a little bit. There, now I salvaged this terrible. This is terrible, but I salvaged it. I kind of feel like Dina because I just salvaged this. I had a cool idea, I just ruined it with the sprays, but I salvaged it with the cool paper. I love this paper. Now I'm gonna glue this in here. And I'm not going to have it as a pocket because then I'll have to fix the inside. I don't want to fix the inside. It's too messy. I'm just going to glue it in. And then I'm going to glue this shut. Hopefully the glue stick will hold it. There. I can see the bee through it. I manage the closets, not super great, but not bad for considering I've been on here for three hours. So then if you wanted to, you still could. Wherever my tags went, I moved them so they didn't get messy. You still could, you still could slide that in here, even with that just with that glued in. If you wanted to have something here and then you pull it out and then you still have something behind it. You still could go ahead and do that. I don't like this. Cool. So there's two different looks. We did like a cute little layered conservative grungy look. And then this one, oh yeah, I'll roll it. This one we, we did paper sprays, die cut it. That's fine. Forget about rolling the paper. I should do that. Do you remember when everyone was rolling the papers or scrapbook papers, like rolling the edges when that was like a kind of the new thing that someone discovered? You could like roll all of your, your ends and corners and stuff and everyone was doing them. It looks cool. Yeah, kind of cool. So then you can make, yeah, this was, I don't know who did it, but someone started it where they're like curling the corners and curling the papers and it became, it got really, really popular. And then, uh, you know, and then you're kind of scratching your head going, huh, what didn't I think of that? You know, it just makes it a little more, I don't know, interesting. I guess it's not all flat. Yeah, so. There, see, like just curling. Sorry, my fingers are messed. But see how curling just the edges? Just kind of, yeah. Yeah, just kind of, it kind of makes it a little less just, you know, pat where I just glued it on there and just roll your edges up. Yeah, that was started by scrapbookers who were doing that. The scrapbookers were doing all this. And then I think, you know, mixed media kind of, you know, because it, they could kind of go hand in hand and then kind of gravitated towards it too. But they were also, you know, some of them were making, you know, I think that's kind of when the three, you know, like Finnabar and all that kind of came along, like more 3D stuff. I don't know. For me, it just seems like it all kind of came in hand in hand with the curling the corners and adding stuff. But then, you know, you almost had to frame them because of how much they were putting on them. You couldn't really put them in a little scrapbook thing because they were too full. Oh, you know what I have? I could have put on here. I have a B, uh, B brand. Or what is this I got? It's just a little B from Dress My Craft. I got somebody. Let's see this. Hold on.
Yeah, I like that. I like the curled edges. That looks that looks a bit more exciting. Look at the bee. Are they cute? Okay, excuse my hands, but yeah, it's a cute little bee. I gotta glue that on here. Or maybe we could put it. Oh, we'll put it here. See, because it's going to be in this card file, so I don't have to worry about the fact it's it's 3D, as you would have, as, as you wouldn't be able to do this. What do you think? Um, maybe some fabric glue. Don't look, Eileen. And the fabric glue will be on. You can't glue something. Grab your fabric tack. Okay, I'm gonna hold it here a second till it sticks. <sighs> come on, come on. You can do this. Hold it till it dries. Be patient. These are by Dress My Craft if you're interested. How are you going to put anything in there if that bee is glued down like that? I'm not going to put anything in it. Oh, okay. This one I'm not going to. After griping that you couldn't actually put anything in them. <laughs> so I'm going to... Okay, I'm just going to leave it. Just, just leave it. So that, I mean, that's cute, right? Oh, is that, that is cute. The 3D element, and then he's like, he said he's going for the sunflower inside, and there's the honeycomb. Uh, the back most well, people will it just won't it just decorated. It's not really the focal point. So I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry, but there. Now I also have bee brads. I gotta find them. I also got bee brads too. And yeah, have fun. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around all these hours. I'm sorry it was a little not as fun with um, as usual. We have Kathy being along, but thank you, Helen and Eileen, for sticking around all these hours with me. And I'm going to lay out what we did. Did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hold on. I scoop my mess. Hold on. All right, let's lay out what I did. So. All right, so we got our B card. We have vintage. We did that. We did that. And also the flashcard, which that was crazy. So there we go. Crazy, vintage, and colorful. All of one stream. None of these have anything <laughs> related with one another. So there you go. Silly, fun, vintage, and garden themed. Good I thing love I the melting snowman. <laughs> That's today's project. There you go. And go out and get you these tags. Were they size five? If you buy Tim's thing, get the size five, five tags if you want. don't want to cut up your, your things that come with it. Oh, thanks, Peggy. It's really sweet. And remember, we're going to do the citrus salt on Friday. So that'll be fun. And I come on about 1030 on Friday at um, a.m. Eastern, just so you know. Not everybody lives in the Eastern time zone. And if you want to play along or learn, just come hang out with us because Helen will be an excellent teacher. I have no doubt about that. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And don't forget Johnny's streaming today at 4 p.m. Eastern. I oh, think. there you go. It's only tomorrow. 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 Oh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. Oh, tomorrow. okay. I thought it was today too. Thanks. If you do anything, just please put, uh, tag me on Instagram or on put it on our Facebook group. So we can see if you played along. I can't wait to see what people did with this glue. <laughs> I just cannot wait to see what they did with that. All right. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you Friday. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.
Bye, bye everybody. Okay, bye to eat. <laughs> thank you, mods. Yes, thank you. <laughs>